At the beginning of the story, a young man is sitting on a tree trunk eavesdropping. Below the square in Deep Gia's palace, the teacher's voice rang out, What a martial artist. Martial artists all have a fierce vitality that no one can match. Martial artists with the first star vitality have even faster speeds, comparable to leopards and cats, and can tear apart tigers and wolves. The vital energy reaches two stars and can crush thousands of pounds of large rocks. If you want to progress faster, you must practice spirituality. This young man listened and began to practice. His breathing began to pant. This place is the Deep Family, one of the great tycoons of the dynasty. Only the Deep Family's disciples are qualified to practice at the training school. The young man who was eavesdropping was the Deep Family's servant. His name was Deep Duong. He secretly lamented, and he was just a three-generation slave of the Deep Family. The teacher continued to teach, what is spiritual cultivation? Spiritual cultivation, to put it bluntly, is to explore the brain. The brain is the most mysterious place in the human body. As for exploring the brain, it all depends on spiritual cultivation. The larger the spirituality, the stronger the brain, the stronger each person's strength will be, and spiritual cultivation is divided into many realms and stages. The first precept is the structure. But if you want to reach the realm of foundation, you must learn how to enter a state of deep sleep. Today I will officially teach you how to enter a state of deep sleep. Deep Duong was somewhat excited when he heard that. Is he cultivating spirituality? Suddenly, from afar, a stone rushed towards Deep Duong. When discovered, Deep Duong felt guilty and lost. Right after that he fell down from the tree. A voice rang out, Deep Duong you still say you don't know martial arts. This time I secretly learned martial arts from the Deep Family. But I caught him. This person is the young master of the Deep Family, Deep Kuang. Besides him, there were two servants following him. Deep Kuang said extremely aggressively, trying his best to hit him for me. Two servants immediately walked towards Deep Duong and tried to throw stones. Deep Duong could only raise his hand to withstand the blows of those people. Don't want to be like this forever. Deep Duong let out a loud scream. Young Master Deep Kuang, you only rely on the crowd. If you have the ability to fight me unilaterally. Hearing Deep Duong say one-on-one, -on -one, Deep Kuang immediately waved his hand to stop the two servants. He rolled his eyes and said, just you. Deep Duong immediately raised his hand to defend. Young Master, if I win. Today's matter can't be investigated. Deep Kuang burst out laughing when he heard that. Ha ha ha, okay, you dog slave. If you want it then today I will beat you to your satisfaction. The surrounding crowd gathered around and chatted. This thing had no strength, and even dared to fight the young master alone. I recognized him. He is a slave raising animals in the backyard. Deep Kuang gathered force into his hand. Then he shouted, the dog slave was willing to die. A few guys outside said excitedly, this is the Deep family's secret skill of counter claw. This aura seems to have been trained to pure fire, no matter what you say, it's the young master of the Deep Family. Deep Tian's eyes showed concern. Deep Kuang waved his hand to attack, while Deep Duong quickly turned around to dodge, then grabbed Deep Kuang's hand. What is the color of Deep Kuang? At this moment, Deep Duong waved his hand and knocked him down, with a steadfast will. The few juniors outside were a bit worried, not good, the young master's moves were seen through by this slave. This slave was young and was able to crack the... Eagle Claw Unique Secret Technique of Deep Jia. Technical genius is not wrong, just unfortunate. Seeing the heavy movement, Deep Duong panicked. Why was it suddenly so heavy? Even though he used all his strength on his legs, they still didn't move a bit. Deep Kuang was now smiling strangely behind Deep Duong. Seeing this, the servant was surprised and said, This is the Bamboo Realm. I really didn't expect that the young master had already reached the realm of Bamboo Foundation. Deep Kuang threw a palm at Deep Duong's back. This attack caused Deep Duong to vomit blood. Deep Duong knelt down. Deep Kuang said contemptuously, Don't think that you secretly learning a few lowly martial arts techniques are already my opponent. My basic ability is not on the same level as yours. A slave is only a slave for life because genius is predetermined from birth. Deep Duong was not satisfied and wiped the blood from his mouth. Then stood up and said, One more time. Deep Kuang's eyes showed disdain. He threw his fist at Deep Tian. Even though Deep Duong was hit, he still smiled incomprehensibly. This smile makes Deep Kuang extremely difficult to understand. Without letting Deep Kuang react, Deep Duong immediately hugged Deep Kuang. Deep Kuang saw this and shouted angrily, If you want to die then I will satisfy you. Then he raised his fist, a force gathered there. Then a punch landed straight on Deep Duong's body. But right now a hand grabbed his arm. He was startled and shouted, Who? Deep Duong's dull eyes also turned back in surprise. At this moment a young girl's foot stepped forward. A beautiful girl stood up. She was the eldest lady of the Deep Family Deep Tan Lan. She shouted, it's me. Seeing Deep Tan Lan, Deep Kuang uttered two words, sister. 
Then he pointed at Deep Duong and said, Younger sister, this slave secretly learned Deep family's martial arts. His crime deserves death. Why did you save him? The guys outside saw the new girl and said, Sister, who is this girl? Why is the young master so respectful to her? She is the eldest lady of the Deep family. Since she was a child, Deep Tan Lan was a natural genius and was taken to the immortal sect to practice. Training, it's not strange that you just arrived and don't know her. Deep Tan Lan looked disdainfully and said, I didn't save him. I just saw two trash guys fighting here. She emphasized each word. I saw offensive eyes too. Deep Kuang stammered and called out, Sister, sister. Deep Tan Lan glared. What's wrong? Then she burst out in spirit and said, Do you also want to fight with me? The two juniors in the distance couldn't bear to cover their arms. The aura was so terrifying. What kind of realm is the eldest lady? Deep Kuang said in fear at this time, Sister. You're right, I'm trash. At this moment, Deep Duong tried to look up at this girl. His eyes were a bit suspicious. At this time, Deep Tan Lan had already flown up. She said, if I ever see someone fighting in the Deep family, a lawyer will serve me. After saying that, Deep Tan Lan left. Deep Kuang couldn't do anything but snorted. He said the two words Deep Duong harshly. Then he pointed at Deep Duong and said, temporarily spare your dog's life today. We go. Scene changes to a waterfall. After going through that, Deep Duong is trying his best to practice to become stronger. At this moment, he was soaking in the stream, thinking to himself that if he wanted to be better than others, he had to practice hard. Under the impact of the water, Deep Duong's breathing began to pant. Deep Duong began to enter a state of contemplation. If you want to practice spirituality, you must quiet yourself and enter a state of deep sleep. A moment later he woke up angrily and said, No, I failed again. No, is it possible that a person without talent like me is destined to only be a slave and be bullied by others for the rest of his life? He remembered the faces laughing at him. In my heart right now there is not the slightest bit of resignation. The resentment caused Deep Duong to grit his teeth. His eyes are full of determination. If talent is not enough, then effort will make up for it. Deep Duong continues to practice. I don't believe it is impossible to enter a state of deep sleep. Three hours later, the sky was now dark. At this moment, not far away, an explosion rang out. Deep Duong quickly straightened his clothes, and at this moment he realized something. Something from afar was flying towards him. Deep Duong's hand suddenly grabbed it. He looked at the box blankly, wondering, HM, what is this? In the distance, two figures rushed forward. The man shouted loudly, Boy, quickly return the knitting needles to me. The other person was Miss Deep Tan Lan. She rushed over to stop him, not giving it to him. Deep Duong exclaimed somewhat in surprise, Miss. Deep Duong was startled in his heart. He didn't understand what the eldest lady just said. Deep Duong opened it and realized that this was a nine-turn golden pill. In legend it is said that we can transform our physical bodies. Precious medicine of immortality enhances natural talent and aptitude. Realizing this was an opportunity, Deep Duong did not hesitate to put the medicinal pill in his mouth. Seeing that, the two were startled and looked towards Deep Duong. What, huh? This man is the Twi Noyet of Tin Kong sect. His face was frowning and he shouted, Brat, you dare to swallow my Twi Noyet's golden pill. I have to kill you. After speaking, Twi Noyet poured energy into the sword in her hand. Then he flew straight towards Deep Duong. This makes an ignorant guy like Deep Duong panic. But at this moment, his whole body was filled with a strange vapor that surprised him. Seeing this scene, Twi Noyet suddenly stopped. He was startled and didn't understand what was happening. A series of lightning bolts surrounded him. He was sweating and realized that this was the high-level magic technique of the non-immortal sex five lightning techniques. Twi Noyet quickly raised his sword to defend. He did not expect that the young person in front of him had learned the five thunder techniques. Deep Tan Lan was waving her hand and chanting magic. She was also a bit startled. Then she stopped casting the spell and looked straight at the water moon guy. At this time, Twi Noyet took out the heaven and earth magic map and began to perform magic. He said, if that's the case... I will let you taste the power of the heaven and earth magic map. Deep Tan Lan waved his sword and shouted, Twi Noyet, my deep family and Tin Kong Man, you guys have never been together since ancient times. Today you not only stole the nine inheritance golden pill from my deep family, but also killed countless deep family disciples. Leave your life here today. Hearing that, Twi Noyet curled her lips and smiled. Ha 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 that's ridiculous. Wasn't the nine transmission golden pill stolen by your deep family? I just stole it in return killing a few animals by the way. Deep Duong below observed and thought to himself, is this the magic of the ancestors? That's great, but fortunately I've forgotten about it now. If not, while thinking, he was startled. His eyes suddenly glowed. He could see clearly like this, 
Was this the power of the nine transmission golden pill? Tui no yet bared her teeth and rushed forward. He he. Look at this trick. Deep Tan Lan just snorted lightly. The collision between the two was so loud that a loud explosion rang out. Roaring, the power shot straight towards Deep Duong behind the rock. He didn't have time to react and immediately flew straight back. A moment later, the smoke and dust began to dissipate. Deep Tan Lan staggered, holding her head and blaming herself. It wasn't okay. She was negligent. I didn't expect that this heaven and earth demon map would be so overbearing. Tui Noyet forced herself to stand up and laugh out loud. Haha, Deep Tan Lan, even though your pregnancy level is one level higher than my bamboo structure. But just when you were negligent, now that this heaven and earth devil of mine has betrayed you, you can't move anymore. After speaking, the moon suddenly spurted out a trail of blood and he was bewildered, not understanding anything. Deep Tan Lan coughed and said, You've been hit by my five lightning techniques. It's not much better. Deep Duong at this moment seemed to appear and appear, causing both of them to startle and scream. Who was it? Deep Duong scratched his head in bewilderment and said two people. Tui Noyet saw this and started to say goodbye. But it was the kid who took your medicine. Kid, looking at you dressed like this, maybe you are the Deep family's servant, right? These words made Deep Tan Lan's face suddenly change. Tui Noyet continued to say, An arrogant and arrogant family like the Deep family certainly has many mistreated servants. Your bruised face is probably also beaten by someone from the Deep family, right? Now the opportunity for revenge has come. Killed Deep Tan Lan. Deep Tan Lan now had no strength left. She hugged her injured arm and snorted coldly. Tui Noyet held the sword and threw it to Deep Duong. The boy caught it. Deep Duong had now grabbed the sword. The sound of Tui Noyet continued to say. Nine turns golden pill. You just swallowed. If you don't refine the negative energy it releases within today, you will definitely explode and die. If you kill this girl, I will teach you the technique to refine it. Hearing that, Deep Duong nodded and said I understand. After speaking, he walked closer to Deep Tan Lan. Miss Deep family, we meet again. Deep Tan Lan extremely stubbornly replied that if you want to kill then kill. She emphasized, I will not beg for a useless guy. Deep Duong put his sword to Deep Tan Lan's neck. He said three generations of our ancestors were slaves and endured suffering. But the Deep family never considered us people. So, big lady? Deep Duong waved his hand and said don't blame me. Deep Tan Lan's eyes could only close in resignation. A scream in the dark night, ah. Deep Duong's voice rang out, Senior's good intentions, Junior please accept. Tui Noyet was suddenly stabbed, her voice was scared. He didn't seem to believe his eyes. Deep Duong looked at Tui Noyet and smiled and said, Although Deep family is very hateful, yesterday the eldest lady saved me. We cannot return kindness for evil. Deep Tan Lan looked at her with some surprise, this name. But me, I never saved him. Tui Noyet tried hard, he gritted his teeth and scolded, damn it. He waved his hand and threw a palm at Deep Duong's chest. Get out of here. Deep Duong was hit without time to react. His whole body exploded. He laughed happily. Ha ha ha. That kind of person like you. Before he finished speaking, his eyes became dull. Then officially went to sell salt. From Tui Noyet's body rose a cloud of smoke. Countless genius treasures and martial arts flew out. Deep Duong tried to open his eyes to see what was in front of him. He wondered, what is that? Deep Tan Lan turned to answer. What is there to be surprised about? After cultivators reached the realm of foundation. A death palace will form in the brain. Cultivators can leave some items in the death palace, but after death, the items will fall out. The palace is like a small universe in the human brain, but if you kill someone, the things will belong to you. After saying that, Deep Tan Lan used her strength to heal her wounds. She thought to herself, I can't stay here for long. I have to quickly restore my vitality and leave here. Deep Duong walked towards the items and exclaimed, it seemed like there were a lot of real items. Suddenly he discovered something. Then suddenly I reached out my hand to hold it and wondered, what is this? Before opening it, Deep Duong felt like there was a terrifying force. His eyes widened as the magic map was opened. The light from the lines of text on the map flashed. A strange aura is surrounding Deep Duong. The aura of fear made Deep Duong startled and wondered, what is this? Before he could react, it rushed straight towards Deep Duong. It made his whole body ache. Was immediately pushed away by this force. Creating a small explosion, rumbling smoke and dust flying everywhere. At this time, Deep Tan Lan suddenly felt pain. She didn't understand why her chest felt so heavy. She suddenly realized something was wrong. Since when did Deep Duong press down on his two white rabbits? Deep Duong was sweating and shyly said, Are these two rabbits too soft? Deep Tan Lan's eyes turned red. She angrily kicked Deep Duong away. Dog slave, what do you want to do? Deep Duong quickly explained, Miss, you misunderstood. I didn't mean that, this is just. 
Deep Tan Lan was so angry that her face turned red. She just snorted lightly, then turned around and sped away. Seeing this, Deep Duong scratched his head. Is this the first time he eats tofu? Those of you who have eaten tofu, please share your thoughts. Then Deep Duong also took the pile of things and went down the mountain. After walking a few steps, he stopped and looked up at the hand that had a strange power. He was startled and wondered, huh, what does this mean? Could it be that this yellow aura is the cause of the nine-turn golden pill? What's going on? I feel like my body is about to be compressed by this yellow aura to the point of stiffness. Deep Duong's eyes suddenly glowed. Deep Duong's whole body began to change. A huge light flowed out from inside him. This light is so strong that it forms a column of light shooting straight into the blue sky. It seems that after tonight, the slave who was looked down upon by others has turned a new leaf. Not long after, Deep Duong was in another dimension. He suddenly woke up with a start. Deep Duong looked around suspiciously, wondering where this was. At that moment, a soft call rang out, Master. Deep Duong suddenly turned around. A woman spoke up and explained to Deep Duong, Master, that you now exist in your death palace, because of the power of the asterisk nine turned golden pill. Causes people to have broken through the realm of deep torpor. Hearing that, Deep Duong kept asking questions, what is the level of profound drowsiness? Death spell? He stroked his chin and thought, didn't Deep Tan Lan say that only in the bamboo stage can one see one's death palace? Suddenly realizing that something was wrong, Deep Duong jumped up and said, no, that's not right. Who are you? Why do you call me master? This question made the girl with two white rabbits a bit confused. She hastily explained, I am the subconscious that exists in the master's palace, so strictly speaking, I am a part of the master, so I call the master, master. Deep Duong continued to ask, subconscious? Why is my subconscious female? The girl suddenly opened her eyes and looked at Deep Duong. A gust of wind immediately blew past Deep Duong. Deep Duong asked confusedly, What happened? The girl pointed to the space at Deep Duong's feet and explained that each person's palace was like a separate universe. Deep Duong looked around somewhat excitedly. Is this my palace? In the girl's hand, a ball of power was being gathered. She continued to explain, It is vast, vast, unpredictable so the scene that appears will also change depending on the subconscious. She flew down and raised her hand towards Deep Duong. Her voice was gentle. Do you understand, Master? After saying that, she pointed a spot of light into Deep Duong's eyelids, then snapped her fingers and split it. At that moment Deep Duong returned to the real world. This made Deep Duong bewildered. Have I returned? Seeing that the girl appeared in the real world, Deep Duong somewhat puzzled and said, Wait, aren't you my subconscious? The stars are also outside. The real world can see you too. The girl gently stroked her hair and replied, I am just a soul state. Normally only people can see me, but with strong cultivators, they can feel my aura. Hearing that, Deep Duong somewhat understood. Unconsciously, he reached out his hand towards the girl. This action was extremely difficult for the girl to understand. When Deep Duong's hand was about to touch, the girl pursed her beautiful lips tightly, was about to eat tofu a second time. Suddenly a terrifying power radiated around the girl. Right after that, there was a huge slap to Deep Duong's face, causing him to fly several meters away. He covered his face somewhat in fear. When he was so powerful, he felt even stronger than Deep Tan Lan and Tui Noyet. Then he said, Calling me master doesn't mean everyone should listen to me. Why do you beat me? The girl bowed and replied, apologizing to the owner. The subconscious mind has the ability to judge for itself and will not rely entirely on the owner's orders. Deep Duong heard this sadly and said, Okay, I know. Three days later, at the zoo in Deep Family's backyard. Deep Duong is feeding the horse. Seeing a series of bustling noises outside, Deep Duong looked sideways. What's going on over there? I just ran out of bamboo, so I'll go over there to see what's going on. Deep Duong rushed to join the excitement. His eyes discovered something strange in front of him. There is a group of people gathering. A leading man said with his arms folded solemnly, Today he will select disciples to go to Phi Tien Mountain to test with the eldest lady. At this moment, Deep Tan Lan came from afar and called Deep Vo. She looked at the crowd and asked, Is it these people? A voice interrupted Deep Tan Lan, Please move away. Deep Duong now came and riddled forward, Let it pass, let it pass, let it pass. Seeing Deep Tan Lan, he felt a little guilty. Deep Tan Lan also saw Deep Duong's eyes suddenly thoughtful. She immediately whispered something to Deep Vo. Deep Vo nodded in response, understanding. After speaking, Deep Vu pointed his finger at Deep Duong and said, Hey, come here for a moment. When I heard that, a series of sounds rang out around me. Deep Duong bewilderedly pointed at me. Deep Duong couldn't do anything but closed his eyes in resignation. Seeing Deep Duong coming with a bucket, a few people outside immediately mocked. Look at the slave. Does he look like raising a pig? Ha! 
At this time, Deep Tan Lan pretended to be unfamiliar and asked, What is this person doing? Deep Kuang smiled and replied, Sister, this is the slave who raises the one-horned beast in the backyard. Deep Tan Lan thought for a while then raised his hand and said, Just in time Tan Lan Fong I also have a few one-horned beasts that no one cares for. Take him with me to Phi Tian Man. When Deep Kuang heard that, he was startled and said, What? He pointed at Deep Duong and asked again, Did he bring this slave to Phi Tian Man? Deep Tan Lan glared at him with an unhappy face. Why do you have an opinion? Deep Kuang quickly waved his hand. No, no. Everyone listened to his sister. After deciding, Deep Fu said loudly to the whole school, Okay, everyone go home and prepare, leave tomorrow. On the one hand, Deep Duong was dumbfounded when he heard that. Is it a non-fairy gate? It seems like a good thing. The next day, Deep Duong was flying with Deep Tan Lan to Phi Tian Gate. Deep Duong's face was pale and sad, I regret it. But when will I be able to fly with my sword like this? Deep Duong entered the Two Palace to beg, Miss Two Palace, no, from now on, let's call you a Two. Oh my god, when will I be able to fly with my sword? A two replied lazily, Master, you only need to push your vitality into the flying sword, practice more. She raised her hand sarcastically. It's not difficult to learn. Deep Duong nodded, so it turned out. Deep Kuang flew next to Deep Duong and gritted his teeth. This talented dog slave Deep Duong. Wait until you come to face Xianmen to see. I won't leave you alone. At this moment, there was a loud explosion below. Everyone suddenly said, hmm, what's going on? The impact of the explosion caused the flying sword to shake. Deep Duong, unable to hold on, staggered. Unconsciously, he hit Deep Tan Lan's back hard. Another phase of eating tofu a second time, Deep Duong hugged Deep Tan Lan tightly from behind, startling her. This made Deep Tan Lan blush. Immediately she raised her hand to knock him away. Fortunately, Deep Duong was able to grab the hilt of the flying sword in time. Deep Tan Lan glanced at him and snorted lightly. Deep Kuang felt a bit proud when he saw Deep Duong's difficult situation. Deep Tan Lan sternly told everyone, There is a demonic aura ahead. Let's quickly go check it out. Then she accelerated forward. Approaching a large hole, in the distance there were a few human figures nearby. Deep Kuang turned to ask, What should my sister do now? Deep Tan Lan began to think. A moment later, she waved her hand, a ray of spiritual energy covering her hand. Deep Duong was controlled by her spiritual energy to fly onto Deep Kuang's flying sword. Then she said, if that's the case, I'll go ahead and destroy the demon path. Before leaving, she turned around and instructed, you guys wait here for me and don't leave. Realizing that Deep Duong no longer had anyone to protect him, it was like fat rising to a cat's mouth. Deep Kuang is a bit excited. Oh, this is such a good opportunity. Deep Duong was confused and suspicious. Deep Kuang then glanced at Deep Duong and asked, are you right Deep Duong? Having finished speaking, Deep Kuang swung his leg and kicked him down, get off. Deep Kuang waved and smiled, the dog's slave said goodbye. Deep Duong was also surprised by this sneak attack. He fell freely and urgently asked for help. Ah, quickly think of a way, I'm about to fall to my death. A two replied, Master, quickly take the long twin sword from the two palace and leave. Deep Duong was also surprised and asked, is there still this trick? After speaking, Deep Duong pulled out a sword from the palace. He continued to ask, I took it out, what do I do next? A two continued to guide. The owner gathered the spiritual energy of the spell to enter the source energy into the dragon spring sword. He immediately closed his eyes and did as he was told. The sword was immediately covered with a pale yellow spiritual energy. Deep Duong somewhat surprised said this is. At this moment, the sword suddenly burst out with powerful energy. Seeing that, a two happily said congratulations master, this flying sword has a hidden sword spirit. It is already bound to you. Deep Duong held the sword in his hand and thought to himself. What's wrong with this sword? This feeling is so strange. Suddenly, the sword actively merged with Deep Duong and rushed down. This was the fusion of the sword and man. At that moment, there was a girl below with a somewhat worried look on her face and said, You guys, you guys, what do you want to do? She is the eldest lady of Ha family, Ha Mong Dao. Opposite her were two men. They raised their hands and laughed. He he, little lady, quickly hand over the stupa, sir. Please spare your life. Seeing a strange light in the sky, those two guys were confused. What was that? Ha Mong Dao was also very surprised, really, the sword energy was really strong. Out of nowhere, Deep Duong rushed straight towards those two guys. Ha Mong Dao spread his arms to block the smoke and dust and wondered, what is this? The dust and smoke dispersed, Deep Duong stood in front of the girl who lowered her dream. Deep Duong's eyes flashed with a ray of spiritual light. But right after that, he somewhat confusedly said, huh, what's going on? A heroic scene of rescuing a beautiful woman made Ha Mong Dao's eyes sparkle. She thought to herself, this young man fell from the sky, 
Could it be that the husband of heaven sent him as he wished to save her? A man who was previously lying on the ground pointed his finger at Deep Duong and shouted, You brat, you dare to kill my senior brother? Deep Duong quickly explained, I killed him. Sorry I couldn't control my body just now. The other guy heard that and glared angrily. He took revenge, boy. Let you taste the third level of the Black Lotus technique of the Black Lotus sect, Black Lotus Butterfly Shadow. Seeing this, Hamong Dao immediately spoke up to warn him, Young master, be careful. That is the Black Lotus flower formed by the Purple Palace. The magic of the Black Lotus sect, the bigger the petals, the more powerful it is. As soon as Deep Duong replied, What? That guy grabbed a lotus and rushed up. Deep Duong reflexively raised his sword to defend. No good. That aura immediately attacked Deep Duong's sword. Not long after, Deep Duong was blown away. Ha Mong Dao called out worriedly, Young master, she thought to herself, You must have used up all your vitality for the swordsmanship that fell from the sky to save me, so you were injured by this demon's disciple. Otherwise this disciple of the demon's sect absolutely cannot be your opponent. Deep Duong now tried to get up. I can't fight anymore and ask for help, ah, uh, this black lotus is too powerful. Long Quan's sword doesn't seem to be his opponent. What should I do? A two stroked his chin and thought then said, Master, you haven't mastered the power of the Long Quan sword yet, so I suggest you run away. Hearing that, Deep Duong secretly wanted to run away. The man saw that and was a bit bewildered. Then he laughed loudly, Ha ha. The brat killed my senior brother and still wants to run, surrender your life. But at this moment, his foot stepped on a magic formation. His whole body was sweating. Looking up, he lost his expression and said, It's gone. Is this a shimmering stupa? People can't move anymore. It's true that the magic formation of this Lin Lang Pagoda can be enough to lock the opponent's body. Deep Duong, who was observing and didn't understand, asked Ah Tu, What's going on? A Tu immediately replied, Master, it seems that when this demon chased and killed you, he mistakenly walked into the binding formation that that girl had previously set up. Ha Mong Dao, while controlling the stupa, thought to himself, could it be that the young master had already seen the formation I had laid out? Pretending to run away to lead the demon into my formation, I can't let you underestimate me. Look at the power of my spiritual stupa. Lower the dream knife and begin to attack. Lightning strikes. A bolt of lightning hit the other man's body, causing him to scream in pain. Ah, at this moment, the lotus flower suddenly burst out with spiritual energy. The spiritual power of the lotus flower began to compete with the spiritual power of the sacred stupa. The lower part of the knife becomes dull. Right after that, the stupa in the hand holding the dream knife was pulled away by something. Ha Mong Dao suddenly fell down. A sinister smile appeared. From where did a man wearing a cloak come forward to rob the stupa? He he, little girl, this strength of yours has not yet developed a thousandth of the power of the stupa. You should still obediently hand it over. It's better if you let me go. Seeing the stupa being robbed, Ha Mong Dao's face turned pale. At this moment, two swords suddenly appeared from the sky rushing towards the black-cloaked man. The man in the cloak had to step back and avoid it, shouting angrily, deserving of death. A man in deep Tan Lan approached. He opened his mouth to ask, Is your cousin okay? Ha Mong Dao immediately replied, Ah, cousin, it's okay. This person is Ha Mong Dao Lam Phi's cousin. He calmly said, It's okay. The man who had just escaped the stupa's control said, That's good. Reinforcements have arrived. The man in the cloak behind him also spoke up. The rumors of Deep Tan Lan's highest talent were truly unimaginable. He must have hidden his strength and not condensed his breath. The other guy was startled when he heard that. Deep Tan Lan shouted loudly, The devil dares to step into the central plains. Today this place is where you will be buried. Hearing that, the robed man's face darkened and a forced smile appeared. The other guy pointed at Deep Duong and said, Junior brother, you're finally here. Senior brother was killed by that brat's sword. Hearing that, the cloaked man shouted in surprise, Brat, this is senior brother Kuang Dao's top disciple of the Black Lotus Picker. You wait to die. Kuang Dao looked at Deep Duong somewhat worriedly. This kid is not simple. Deep Duong also looked at him and thought, Who else is this Kuang Dao? Deep Tan Lan looked towards Deep Duong, somewhat surprised to see him present here. Kuang Dao feels that the situation is not good. This time there is trouble. Just dealing with Deep Tan Lan's people is very tiring. And the guy who killed this senior brother with one sword from beginning to end without saying a word. Just now, when he used the black lotus to spy on his body, he felt a terrifying aura. He was definitely a master. At this moment, one person could not bear it anymore and stomped his foot on the ground. Then he picked up the sword and raised his voice loudly, Devil, eat one of my swords. Kuang Dao smiled coldly at him. Just one move of Kuang Dao captured that disciple. Kuang Dao laughed. Tu Lao found a way to die. After speaking, 
Jiang Dao waved his hand and stabbed the disciple through the heart, sending the disciple away. After finishing dealing with Kuang Dao, he waved his cloak and left. He did not forget to say, Today I will temporarily spare your lives, let's go. Deep Tan Lan walked over and said in a cold voice, Do you want to leave? It's not that easy. Deep Tan Lan was about to move forward when Phi Lam extended her hand to stop her. Wait, the demon path is deep and unfathomable. We still suffered heavy losses when we joined forces just now. Don't chase after us. Hao Mong Dao now approached Deep Duong and said, Young master, you saved me. After speaking, she happily rushed forward to hug Deep Duong. This action caused Deep Duong to suddenly fall, and the two looked at each other awkwardly. Deep Duong smelled the scent of a sixteen-year-old girl. Suddenly he blushed and wanted to swallow it all. As his voice was somewhat neutral, Master, be careful. I feel that this woman is secreting too much estrogen. Definitely has bad intentions towards the owner. Ha Mong Dao's eyes sparkled with starlight, making Deep Duong not know what to do. At that moment, a group of people arrived. The leader was Deep Kuang. He called out, Little sister. I finally found you. Hearing that, Deep Tan Lan suddenly turned around to observe. Looking down and seeing Deep Duong, Deep Kuang frowned and said, Hmm, Deep Duong, what is this slave doing? Deep Tan Lan turned around and said softly, Let's go. Deep Kuang stammered, Here, here. This statement made Deep Duong bewildered and did not understand anything. An admin knew that the girl who had been eaten tofu was jealous. So without hesitation Deep Tan Lan jumped up and flew the sword. Then he took off like he was flying, his mouth constantly snorting. Deep Kuang looked at Deep Duong and said mockingly, Hmm, dog slave, just growing wings and thinking he's already very good. Let's see what kind of people come to fly to the fairy gate. Looking at the sword Deep Duong thought to himself, What kind of way are you going? I also know how to bend swords. After thinking about it, Deep Duong immediately flew away. When Ha Mong Dao saw this, he called out, Young master, young master, I still don't know your name. Can we still meet? Hearing that, Deep Duong suddenly stopped. Deep Duong scratched his head and smiled. In his heart he thought the roof was angry. It would be better not to say anything. Ha Mong Dao silently exclaimed in his heart. He looked so beautiful when he smiled. It definitely meant that we would meet again. Deep Duong in Mong Dao's eyes right now is an extremely handsome and shining young man. Seeing Deep Duong and Gu Qin chasing after him, Deep Kuang felt a bit bitter about this talented dog slave. Since when did you learn sword bending? After a while of flying, they also arrived at the Phi Tian Gate. The whole group of people landed at the gate of the fairy gate. Looking at the massive thing in front of Deep Duong, he was somewhat surprised. This is the Phi Tian Gate. It's so majestic. At that moment, a loud noise appeared in the distance. Countless flying swords flew straight towards the mountain. Deep Tan Lan said with lost expression, What happened? A loud scream rang out in a column of light. From afar, a terrifying horned beast appeared. Its tail kept whipping at the crowd. Deep Duong is also affected by it, and loses balance. Deep Duong's eyes suddenly became frightened. When did the spirit beast rush straight towards him? In an instant, its face was close to Deep Duong. From its eyes emitted a sound wave. Deep Duong was directly affected and held his head. His face changed color. It was so uncomfortable. His body felt like it was being torn apart. A two is also extremely worried. This is the spiritual pressure emitted by the divine beast with thousands of years of cultivation. I had no choice but to go out and rescue Deep Duong. This time I was in trouble. Deep Duong continued to scream miserably. At this time, he began to form seals to relieve the pressure. In her hand a purple diamond appeared. Immediately, a diamond shape enveloped Deep Duong's body to protect him, and the spirit beast on one side could only gape. Deep Duong was extremely surprised. Ha, the pressure has disappeared. The divine beast still did not give up. It continued to rush towards Deep Duong. It roared loudly. A yellow halo rushed towards Deep Duong. That halo of light broke through the barrier and continuously penetrated into the ocean. Seeing that something was wrong, Deep Duong worriedly said, Ah Zi, I feel a trace of this big beast's consciousness, about to sneak into the purple palace. What should I do? After a while, this divine beast also penetrated Deep Duong's purple talisman. It faces directly against Azzy. A two's face became worried. The spirit beast also discovered something at this time. At this time, a demon map appears between a person and a demon. At this moment, at the speed of light, the spirit beast rushed towards the demon map. This made even Azzy startled. The ferocious beast now kicked its wings and cried in front of the demon disciple. Master and disciple thought they would never see you again. This made Deep Duong extremely surprised. The beast shed tears. What's wrong with you? A two immediately replied, Well, it seems to be related to the creature of the seal of the magic map. He is communicating with the creature inside the seal of the magic map. The magic map seemed to understand the beast's intention. It also emitted a ray of spiritual light. 
The scene changes to inside the sword fairy gate. An old man appeared holding a gourd and said, What's going on? This is, the head of the non-immortal sect, the mystical Taoist. A disciple came forward to report, Sect leader, I don't know why the divine beast suddenly broke out like that. No matter how much we advised, we couldn't dissuade him. The old man raised his face and thought to himself, could it be related to that young man? The old man's eyes became surprised. When you see a divine animal in pain because of something, after a while, the beast can calm down. The old man stroked his beard and asked, Old ancestor, what is bothering you? The voice transmitting divine beast replied, Nothing, just encountered an enemy. Looking at the flying divine beast, the old man pondered, What enemy? At this time, Deep Tan Lan landed near this old man, this very beast. A moment later she realized there was someone. Deep Tan Lan immediately came closer, clasped his hands and said, Master. The old man looked seriously at Deep Duong and asked, Tan Lan, who is this young man? The person the old man wanted to ask was Deep Duong. Tan Lan immediately replied, Master, this is my family's slave. Tan Lan Fong's spirit beast is not under anyone's care. He brought it here on purpose. Hearing that, the old man smiled and said meaningfully, it seemed that his body was also very healthy and young, not bad. Tan Lan is also big, very good, very good. Tan Lan's head is full of question marks. Master, what do you mean? Suddenly she realized what her master meant. At this moment, the old man turned around and left, saying, It's okay, good disciples and teachers all understand, isn't that raising a male servant? It's not a big deal, let's go. Tan Lan quickly explained, No, master, it's not what you think at all. Then she turned her head and glared at Deep Duong. Deep Duong bewilderedly pointed at himself and wondered, What happened? What did I do? Half an hour later at Tan Lan Fong, there was a group of people whispering, Why did the sister live alone on a mountain top? Deep Kuang said with a proud face, My sister is one of the only two true sect master disciples of Phi Tian sect, enjoying a small mountain peak alone. A moment later, the group arrived at a dilapidated house. Deep Kuang pointed and said, Ah, that's right, dog slave, you're here. Deep Duong behind heard this and was startled. As a servant, I have no choice but to stay here. Not long after, Deep Duong was quietly cultivating, not thinking about these annoying things anymore. It's still a matter of quickly upgrading your cultivation level and becoming stronger. Only then can you change. At this time, a sparkling golden pill appeared in Deep Duong's palace. A Tu happily clapped his hands and said, congratulating the owner, increase to the realm of bamboo foundation. Deep Duong has now officially upgraded to bamboo metal pill. Deep Duong was somewhat excited. At the speed of absorbing this spiritual energy, he entered the palace to see what the situation would be. As soon as he entered, he was surprised. This large, round, sparkling pill in front of me is the bamboo golden pill. A Tu nodded and said, yes, this is the master's bamboo golden pill. Suddenly Deep Duong grabbed A Tu's hand. This made A Tu somewhat surprised and blush. Deep Duong's eyes twinkled and said pleadingly, ah, your daytime move against giant beasts seems very powerful. Can you teach me? A word that extinguishes my hope. I can't even let go of my hand. Deep Duong looked disappointed and turned around and sighed. I knew it right away. A Tu said again, but there is a trick that belongs exclusively to you. Hearing that, Deep Duong happily said, I know it. What is that trick? Without knowing what happened, Deep Duong was sent flying by A Tu's palm. He covered his face in bewilderment and said, Ah, why are you hitting me? A Tu said with his hands on his hips, To practice this move, you first need your body to be strong enough. Deep Duong said unhappily, why do I think you just want to take the opportunity to hit me? A two began to introduce the technique, condensing energy, accumulating damage in the body, turning it into energy compressed into spiritual energy. Take the opportunity to release another breath. The power is not small. Of course the size of the power depends on the level of damage that the owner can withstand. Hearing that, Deep Duong happily replied, Is that so? I'm very happy to have a practice to learn. But why do I feel like you're happier than me? A two chuckled, No, no, what's wrong? I'm happy for the owner. You will soon become stronger under my training. Feeling something was wrong, Deep Duong said regretfully, or should I think more? But it's not easy for me to let you escape. She raised her voice and continued. After saying that, a two split into many shadows and attacked Deep Duong without mercy. A few months later, in the demonic beast forbidden land, there was a group of people practicing here. An elder spoke up, please be quiet for a moment, now announcing some news that you all care about. He raised three fingers and continued, This time on the list of people who can enter the non-immortal sect and become an outer sect disciple, there are a total of three spots. Hearing that, the participants below panicked and discussed, What? There are so many people and there are three spots. The dispute is too fierce. A disgruntled person questioned, Who said it wasn't? So don't you risk your life you die I live? 
one guy turned to Deep Kuang and said, Young master, there are so many people but there are three spots, what should I do? Deep Kuang immediately replied, Later you guys help me deal with the other opponents, the rest is me. Gentlemen, one word interrupted everyone. The elder pointed to one direction and said, The content of today's test is there. Looking in the direction the elder pointed, the guys below were like thunderclaps in fear, there, what was that? Someone recognized this, this is, the blood wolf level demonic beast. Hearing the name of the blood wolf demonic beast, they were extremely worried. They heard it was extremely cruel, eating people so cleanly that not even bones were left behind. Inside the cage, the blood wolf is frantically trying to break the cage. They use sharp teeth to break the cage open. But maybe that was meaningless, it roared angrily. A powerful stream of pressure rushed straight towards the crowd. Deep Kuang sat down in fear. Before starting, the elder made a final announcement. Oh yes, this blood wolf is extremely ferocious. The casualties caused while participating in this trial. I am not responsible for all the flying immortals. So if you want to retreat now, there's still time. Hearing that, some people were scared and gave up participating. What? This is not a trial. This is killing someone who wants to retreat. Small lives are more important. Another person agreed, yes, I also withdraw. Another guy laughed confidently, he he, the blood wolves were scared away, and even came to the trial of the non-fairy sect. What a joke. Deep Kwan was scared and didn't say anything at this time. Seeing that everyone had made a decision, the elder loudly announced then, everyone prepare well, the trial is about to begin. The cage door has now been opened. A loud cry of trial began to resound. The three blood wolves created three streaks of light running straight into the forest. The crowd excitedly chased after them. The blood wolf's inner pill is ours. Hedy, after everyone left, there was a figure still standing there. It was Deep Duong. He secretly signed up for this trial. He secretly thought that if he could only enter the Phi Tien Gate, he would be able to defy the heavens and change his destiny. This time we definitely can't let them know. The scene changes to the forbidden area. There are now two guys chasing a blood beast. Quickly chase after it. Take advantage of its dispersion and kill it. The blood beast was running away when suddenly it turned back. Its eyes became scary, baring its teeth at everyone. Deep Duong was also present at this time to chase down this blood wolf. The blood wolf opened its mouth and released a fireball to attack the crowd. The power of the fireball is too strong. Deep Duong could only jump up to avoid it. But its speed was too fast. This fruit didn't have time to dodge. Immediately afterwards there was an explosion in the air accompanied by screams of pain. Deep Duong was extremely struggling. After being hit by the fireball, his vital energy was chaotic, causing his flying sword to go out of control. Looking down, Deep Duong panicked the cliff. Fortunately, there was a lake below, and the birch fell straight into it. But Deep Duong's strength was exhausted, and he gradually sank unconsciously. Is this the ending? Everyone don't miss out, the surprise is still below. At the bottom of the lake, there was a woman cultivating. She thought to herself, deep in this pond there really is a treasure for cultivation, with abundant vitality. It feels like she is about to break through the realm. Her whole body at this moment exuded an aura of domineering power. Next she began cultivating consciousness. Her hands were clasped together, preparing to calm her mind. At the same time Deep Duong was sinking down, he even uttered a sound, heard the voice. This woman was awakened while cultivating. Why did she hear a sound like a man's voice? Was it an illusion? Leave start practicing. Deep Duong now also fell to the girl. She wondered, here, who rushed into my sea of consciousness? Deep Duong only had time to scream, then fell into the water in front of the girl. She began to worry, it was over, now was the critical moment of cultivation, she couldn't be bothered. Determined to concentrate mentally. At this moment, there was movement below the water. Deep's hand tried to rise. This movement made the girl extremely worried. At this moment Deep Duong grabbed the arm. This woman paused for a moment. Deep's eyes at that time were like a lifeless person. Without stopping, Deep Duong continued to use his strength to climb up and stick close to her body. Being disturbed, she couldn't meditate. It's not good, she can't concentrate her mental energy. Deep Duong's spoiled hand suddenly squeezed her breasts, she panicked. Why was her body so hot, she felt like she was about to explode. The more Deep Duong squeezes, the stronger the girl's energy increases. Deep Duong's face was still closed, he wondered confusedly, what is this? Soft and soft, but whatever you hold tightly, if you throw it out, it will be lost. What's wrong with this abyss lake? Outside, the water still flows steadily. Below the stream a column of water shot up. Only then did Deep Duong try to open his eyes. Deep Duong's face was now red. He didn't expect that he would squeeze that thing. The woman stammered and said you, you. Deep Duong was scared and kept dodging, sorry I, I didn't mean it. The girl thought to herself, 
It was this kid who caused me what was about to happen and ended up being a complete mess. Spiritual energy gathered in his hand to strike. Then she suddenly realized something. She began to feel fluctuations in spiritual energy. Unexpectedly, her cultivation level seemed to have broken through. She raised her hand and threw out a blow. The power after leveling up is extremely powerful. At this time, Deep Duong also reached the surface of the water. Once again Deep Duong was surprised. The blonde girl pressed Deep Duong's face to her two rabbits and smiled and said, Brat, thank you for helping me break through the postpartum abortion. Deep Duong said with difficulty, Sister, your breasts are so tight that I can't breathe. Hearing these two words, this woman started to feel uncomfortable. She waved her hand, causing Deep Duong to be pushed back. What woman doesn't get angry when she's criticized for being old? She creates a terrifying pressure and snarls. Say it again for me. Deep Duong still didn't understand what was going on and thought, well, this feeling of oppression. Women are so fickle. At this moment, suddenly there was a sound in the distance. Deep Duong immediately covered his face with a scarf. In his heart he was worried, he was lost, he almost missed the official event. Then quickly calculate the escape card. Seeing Deep Duong walking away, this woman silently cursed, the damn boy ran very fast. She suddenly realized, this was a test player. On this side, Deep Duong is still speeding towards the sound. But a feeling of anxiety came over him. He quickly stopped. This time it's over. He didn't expect that this time the blood wolves would all gather together. Deep Duong thought to himself, what should he do now? He turned around and saw Ha Mong Dao's two brothers and sisters talking. Ha Mong Dao told her brother, her cousin, what to do. Her cousin said, quietly observing the situation change. Deep Duong was a bit surprised. Huh, so the two of them also came to Phi Tian Gate to participate in the trial. At this moment, a ball of fire was flying towards Deep Duong. It seemed like it had sensed that Deep Duong was approaching. Deep Duong started to panic. He was gone. He was coming again. This time, Deep Duong did not have time to dodge him and prepared to block the attack. He tightened his grip on the sword in his hand, pouring spiritual energy into it. Then swung his sword and slashed towards the fireball. Two streams of spiritual energy collided in the air. Seeing something unusual, two elders came to patrol. The thin elder said, feeling unusual, do you think these three beasts are a bit wrong? The fat elder next to him doesn't think so. What's wrong with two low-level magical beasts? The thin elder continued to say unusual things. His eyes were more ferocious than usual, and his movements were even more ferocious. The fat elder saw that there was nothing suspicious and clicked his tongue. Hick, you're thinking too much. These are all blood wolves that we have tamed. Nothing will happen. As long as we call one they will obediently listen. Hearing that, the thin elder stopped investigating, hoping that my feeling was wrong. At this time, Deep Duong below stood up and shouted, Everyone, now we must unite to have a chance to defeat the Blood Wolf. As for any eye Dan, wait until we finish dealing with the Blood Wolf before calculating whether it's okay or not. The people behind all agreed, that's right, what he said was right. He's right, if we don't unite, I'm afraid no one can get the any eye Dan, we'll all be killed. They gathered together in unison, united and unanimously agreed to kill the Blood Wolf. Seeing the morale of the crowd rising, Deep Duong began to command, so now, Whoever has the knack for control will proceed to limit the blood wolf. Whoever has the knack for attacking, come with me to kill the blood wolf. Deep Duong's group prepared to capture the blood wolf together. The blood wolves bared their teeth in challenge. Those who have a knack for control work together to limit the actions of the blood wolf. Ha Mong Dao also helped, she thought. I also have to help. From all directions, people shot out energy that controlled the blood wolf. After a while, the blood wolf was also locked tightly. The time has come for Deep Duong to speak up. This is the moment. Kill them all. Those who have a knack for attacking attack together with Deep Duong towards the Blood Wolf. Seeing this scene, Deep Kuang hid to the side and smiled sinisterly. Then he took the sword and rushed forward. After waiting for so long, he was waiting for this moment. The Blood Wolf was about to die. So quickly go grab the NEI Dan. Deep Kuang Hoi laughed happily ha ha. The crowd was also surprised to see someone breaking in to steal loot. Deep Duong also recognized that this was Deep Kuang. He angrily scolded, he deserved death. But at this time Deep Duong discovered something was wrong. At this moment, the three blood wolves actually merged into a three-headed blood wolf with a fierce face. It roared madly, then created an aftershock and shot straight forward. The chlorophyll's foul odor was not destroyed and was blown away by it. At this time, the dust and smoke dispersed and everyone could clearly see the three-headed blood wolf. Deep Duong's face changed. What is this? From above, two elders observed the transformation of the blood wolf and were startled. This, this is. The thin elder shouted, the blood wolf has mutated. Quickly go and tame the blood wolf. A soft voice interrupted. There was no time left. The girl who had been eaten tofu by Deep Duong stood up and waved her hand and said, 
don't be hasty. She is Tamak Fong, the master of Knock Back Fong, of the Phi Immortal Sect. Seeing Tamak, the two elders immediately clasped their hands and saluted their uncle. Tamak nodded and replied, yes, she continued, don't rush to go down there to help. This doesn't seem that simple. Below, the smoke and dust began to dissipate. A man approached Deep Duong and said, has this blood wolf mutated? Hearing that, Deep Duong gritted his teeth and thought to himself, so this is a mutation, it seems even more difficult to deal with. After thinking about it, Deep Duong rushed forward and shouted, everyone, the blood wolf has mutated, while it hasn't had time to react, kill it right away, come with me. The blood wolf's eyes suddenly became scary, but the crowd still rushed forward without fear. This time, the three-headed blood wolf's target was aimed straight at Deep Duong. It immediately opened its three mouths and spewed fireballs. The sword air and fireball began to collide with each other, creating a huge explosion in the air. There were a few weak guys who were knocked out by fireballs. Deep Duong is also extremely struggling at this time. His face suddenly turned pale. A shadow at lightning speed was rushing towards me. In just a moment it was in front of Deep Duong. Seeing that the situation was urgent, he immediately announced, Master, be careful. This blood wolf seems to have detected that you launched an attack, and is now targeting you. When Deep Duong heard that, he panicked. But it was too late. The blood wolf attacked him. Deep Duong could only swing his sword to block the three mouths of the blood wolf. Deep Duong's face suddenly turned pale. He felt a heat surrounding him. From the blood wolf's mouth, its breath began to emit sparks. It immediately opened its mouth and sprayed fire directly at Deep Duong. His sword was immediately sent flying back. Deep Duong panicked. Long twin sword. There was no time left. He had no choice but to take out the demon costume and risk his life. He could only try it. If I remember correctly, Tui Noi yet used the magic map like that. Deep Duong took the magic map and blocked it in front of the blood wolf's mouth. But suddenly the map didn't work. The blood wolf raised its claws and stuck it on Deep Duong's neck. The blood wolf's claws scratched a mark on Deep Duong's chest, and blood streaks oozed out on his shirt. Deep Duong was pinned to the ground and covered in injuries. He wondered, why wasn't there any effect? Deep Duong continued to raise his hand to reach for the map. The devil's uniform was accidentally stained with his blood. The blood wolf's eyes looked at Deep Duong with disdain. Deep Duong was angry. Oh my god, is this blood wolf making fun of me? At this moment, the map in Deep Duong's hand suddenly glowed and flew up. The blood wolf still hasn't realized the danger yet. A ray of light flashed before Deep Duong's eyes. Then suddenly the blood wolf disappeared. A beam of light shot straight into his head. At this time, in the dust and smoke, only Deep Min's silhouette remained. He put his hand on his head and rubbed it. Next to him, a two soul appeared. She said, Master, the demon map seems to be dripping blood to recognize the master. How are you feeling? Deep Duong tried to stand up. His head hurts. The pain surrounded him again, causing Deep Duong to cry. The blood wolf that was shot far away also rushed forward. It opened its mouth wide and bit towards Deep Duong. The situation is hanging by a thread. Deep Duong is still holding his head in pain. This headache makes Deep Duong unbearable. Suddenly he opened his eyes wide. A beam of light shot straight out of his head. The beam of light hit the blood wolf directly. A shock wave sent the blood wolf flying away. The smoke and dust cleared and saw the blood wolf collapsing. The crowd was talking. This movement was the three dead blood wolves, wasn't it? Why are you dead? Completely unable to see clearly what attack was hit. At this time, Deep Duong sat up and saw the blood wolf dead. But his heart was confused. He turned around and asked, Ah, what's going on? Was it you who killed the blood wolf? A two pondered for a moment. Then she turned and said, Master, it was you who killed that blood wolf, don't you remember? Deep Duong replied bewilderedly. But it seemed like I didn't do anything just now. A two speculated that perhaps the ancient rune of the demon map had entered his head, forcing his brain to form a type of concept. This type of concept directly caused him to kill. Dead blood wolf. Hearing that, Deep Duong was extremely surprised, huh? The idea can still kill people. A two continued to say, Perhaps it was an ancient ability of the rune on the demon map, and the ancient beast was sealed perhaps because of this ability. Deep Duong raised his hand and thought to himself, the thought of attacking? Deep Duong saw something flying in front of him. He started trying out concept 3. His eyes flashed with electric sparks. Whoosh, that small creature had disintegrated. Deep Duong was startled. Oh my god, this father's idea could actually kill that creature. Moreover, I can also control the frequency. This is only one hundredth part of the output. After using it, I saw a streak of blood on my nose. Deep Duong used his hand to wipe some of the blood on his face, confused. Seeing this, a two immediately explained, Master, it seems that the higher the frequency of thoughts, the greater the harmful effect on the body, so you should still use it carefully. Only then did I notice the blood wolf lying there. 
From the blood wolf's corpse, three internal pills flew up, making Deep Duong a bit surprised. He happily waved his hand and grabbed it, finally taking it out. At that moment, from afar, a powerful shockwave rang out. Deep Duong turned pale and worried. What is this sound? Deep Duong was affected by that wave. He held his head in pain. Um, what's going on? Why? I feel like my head is about to explode. Not only Deep Duong, everyone around was affected by that wave, holding their heads and screaming in pain. Above the sky, a winged demon beast was continuously emitting sound waves. He is the demon beast of the other world Malova. He smirked and looked down on him. Humans were weak. Before the appearance of the demon beast, Tamak turned back and said to the two elders, Quickly use your vitality to fight against the evil spirits. Hearing that, the two elders had good fortune together. Looking towards Tamak, the demon beast opened its mouth to speak. As expected there are human experts here. I said how could my three blood wolves suddenly die? He smiled happily. Interestingly. Interestingly. Tamak Engip said, Everyone be careful. This is a monster from another world. Its strength is profound and unpredictable. The thin elder was startled and asked, Otherworldly demon beasts. Why had I never heard of them before? The fat elder continued, looking quite similar to a demonic beast, but he could speak human language, to mock immediately introduce them to the otherworldly demon beast. It's not surprising that you've never heard of him. Hundreds of years ago, demon beasts invaded humans. Humans enthusiastically counterattacked. Although they eventually drove the demon beasts out of the human world, humans also suffered serious casualties. The demon beasts were brought to the human world at that time. The thin elder asked, so what is the difference between demonic beasts and magical beasts? Tamak immediately replied, Demonic beasts are evolved magical beasts, just like us humans who have cultivated to great heights and ascended. Demon beasts not only know how to talk, but are also more intelligent than humans. The demon beast grinned, I Malova hasn't killed humans in a long time, my hands are itchy, are you ready? Human? After finishing speaking, the demon beast immediately disappeared. Tamak was startled, it had disappeared but she also felt that something was not right. Realizing the danger, she shouted loudly, Everyone be careful. At this moment, a beam of energy hit straight behind her. Immediately, a practicing disciple was caught in the hands of a demon beast. He laughed in a scary way, by haha. At this time, Deep Duong is hiding next to a bush. He frowned and thought, What is this again? Seeing everyone running away, he felt like there was big trouble. The crowd ran and shouted, What is the meaning of this? This is just a test. Why would anyone die? After the demon beast killed the disciple, he threw him down. He laughed maniacally, ha ha ha. Seeing this, the two elders could not bear to draw their swords and rushed forward. Demon beasts should not be so arrogant. The demon beast released its vital energy, its hands flashing with electric sparks. Immediately after that, he easily blocked the two swords. He said madly, Human beings are weak and that's all they have. From the demon beast's palm emitted a stream of power. It began to penetrate the thin elder's hand making his body unable to move. The fat elder wasn't much better. Right after that, the demon beast grabbed the heads of the two elders and spun them around. His face became scary. He laughed maniacally. Suddenly he realized something was wrong. On this side, Tamak's eyes became cold. Her hand raised her sword. In just a blink of an eye, the two elders were free from the demon beast's control. The demon beast looked at Tamak and laughed loudly. Ha ha. Then he looked at his hand, which had a few wounds, and exclaimed, he also had some strength. He just shook his hand gently, and the wound on his hand quickly healed. Looking at Tamak standing there, he said, It was a bit interesting. Seeing that the situation was not good, Tamak turned around and said to the two elders, You all go back and watch those disciples' trials. Hearing that, the two elders nodded in agreement. The demon beast had now sped up and attacked Tamak. He said, It was a bit interesting but still not enough. Tamak was stunned by the monster's fast speed. The demon beast was like a streak of light rushing down. Luckily, Tamak was able to block his punch in time. Even though it was successfully blocked, Tamak was still knocked back far away. Tamak's voice was firm. Although I don't know how you guys opened the barrier seal. But wherever you are, go back there. After speaking, the sword clawed and cast a spell. A series of swords appeared surrounding her. Tamak shouted loudly, violently hurling his swords. The swords violently rushed towards the demon beast one after another. A loud explosion sounded from her attack. Deep Duong below observed and exclaimed, Oh my god, is this woman with big breasts really that powerful? Thinking about this, I couldn't stop sweating. Luckily I ran fast before. The smoke and dust dissipated. Even though the monster had been hit directly, it still didn't make a difference. He laughed, cackle cackle, today all of you will die here. A red stream of death energy appeared on both of his hands, looking extremely dangerous. Tamak was not weak at all, she raised her sword in a defensive stance, 
her voice was loud. The two attacks collided strongly with each other. Tamak couldn't stand up and quickly jumped back to avoid it. But the force was so strong that she fell down. Admin almost saw it all. Wounds appeared on his face. Tamak frowned and said, Damn, it's so hard to get involved. Deep Duong below observed and thought, This is not good. The big-breasted woman is about to lose. I took off my hat and thought of a way to help her a little. Deep Duong once again expressed the idea that he wanted to secretly attack the demon beast. After finishing shooting, Deep Duong's face became tired. He kept scratching his head. Ah, his head was about to explode. This third idea really cannot be used often. Now 300 frequency per second is my limit. Towards the demon beast he continued to attack with a voice full of disdain. Ha ha ha. Humans are just like that. Before he could strike, a streak of light from Deep Duong shot straight into the eyebrow of the demon beast's head. He held his head in pain and cried out, Ah. On this side, Tamak also discovered something was wrong. Tamak immediately realized this was an opportunity. She immediately grabbed her sword and jumped high. Then she put her strength into the sword in her hand. A powerful sword slashes down. A huge beam of light rushed down and crashed into the demon beast, making him scream loudly. As smoke and dust rose, Deep Duong wondered if the demon beast would surely die this time. The dust and smoke dispersed, the demon beast's figure still stood there. In a moment it appeared right behind Deep Duong, making him cold and sweaty. The demon beast smiled and said, Although I don't know what technique you use, you dare. Sneak attack on the old man, go and die. After finishing speaking, he swung a pan and hit Deep Duong. Deep Duong looked back in horror. What? Tamak said in panic and ran quickly. Some power suddenly surrounded Deep Duong. What's more confusing is that before the monster's hand touched him, it stopped. The demon beast is confused. What is the situation? Body cannot move. The surrounding space was locked tightly and the demon beast was somewhat scared. What kind of force was this? It turned out that at this time, a two appeared to help, chanting a blue crystal in his hand. Seeing that, Deep Duong turned around and called a two. A two struck. A beam of light rushed down and directly pressed the demon beast to the ground. Because the demon beast couldn't see it, it still didn't understand what was going on. I can only see a puff of smoke and dust rising. She was a little surprised. This kid actually has some strength. But why did I feel two different auras on his body just now? At this moment, the demon beast quickly jumped back to avoid it. Fear filled his heart. Where did this powerful aura come from? Looked at Deep Duong full of doubt. Could it be this kid? But he immediately thought again. That's not right. That aura just now wasn't his. At this time, Tamak shouted, You monster killed my trial disciple. Don't leave today. The demon beast's face was frowning and snorting coldly. He thought, that terrible aura only appeared in the blink of an eye. It seems like we shouldn't stay too long today. After all, the matter is already over. He flapped his wings and said down below, Boy, remember my name Manida. The next time we meet will take your little life. After speaking, he waved his hand and opened a hole in space. Before leaving, don't forget to laugh out loud ha ha ha. Tamak immediately chased after him and ran away. The weak beast has now entered, leaving only one arm exposed. Tamak quickly swung a sword to slash, but it was too late. Her face changed color, tearing the space apart. The potential for trouble was huge. After a while everything was over, Sumak ordered, You continue to arrange the trial. I need to immediately go and report the monster attack to the sect master. The two elders bowed and bowed, Yes uncle. An elder turned to Deep Duong and said, So, junior brother, today three blood wolf inner pills are in your hand. You can advance to my non-immortal sect outer disciple alone, or you can share it with your teammates to level up together. Hearing that, Deep Duong held three internal pills in his hand and thought to himself, can we still advance together? At this moment, seeing that Deep Duong had three NEI Dan pills, Deep Kuang gave a friendly smile. Then he stepped forward and said, young master, I can use a large amount of money to buy NEI Dan in your hand. I wonder if you are willing? Deep Duong heard this. His eyes were full of judgment. This evil young man thought he was living in his family. As long as he had money, he could have anything. His cousin coughed and said, if that's the case, I'm a person who doesn't like money too much. Deep Duong raised his voice and offered a condition. If you can kneel down and call me, my father can consider it a bit. What do you mean? Deep Kwong was insulted. His face was full of veins. He pointed his finger and said you. The two juniors following Deep Kwong laughed and said, what a joke, my young master Deep Kwong would kneel down for an internal pill. My young master is the older brother of the true disciple Deep Tan Lan, offended. He, you might not eat well in the future. Deep Kwong angrily gritted his teeth, but he still had to kneel. The tone was full of bitterness, young hero, oh no. Father, sell me a any I Dan pill, any amount will be fine. Seeing that, the guys around were so surprised that they were speechless. Deep Duong then took off his mask and laughed out loud, 
Haha, son Deep Kuang, I didn't think you would still have this day. Deep Kuang was startled when he saw that it was Deep Duong. He immediately raised his hand to ask for any eye Dan. Deep Duong, if I have done as you said, you should quickly give me any eye Dan. Deep Duong smiled disdainfully and replied I said consider it a bit and I won't give you an answer. Hamong Dao immediately came forward to say hello. The young master turned out to be you. Seeing the little girl Deep Kuang wave her hand and throw out a any I Dan pill. Here's one for her. Mong Dao and her brother were extremely surprised. She came closer and smiled foolishly. Thanking you sir. Deep Duong replied calmly. No need to be polite. On this side Deep Kuang gritted his teeth and growled angrily. This Deep Duong didn't know what surprises he had. Now, if he provokes him, he will only suffer losses. Seeing his brother's dream, Deep Duong took out another internal pill and said then Brother Lam Phi. Phi Lam immediately waved her hand. Brother Deep, I don't need it. I originally signed a dream with my cousin to participate in the trial. In the future, my cousin will have to ask you to take care of me a lot. Hearing that, Hao Mong Dao blushed and cursed. What are you talking about? At this moment, laughter haha interrupted the two people's conversation. After deciding, the elder came forward and said, Since that's the case, you two have officially become the outer sect of my non-immortal sect. Now follow me to the next door. The scene moves to a mountainous area. The elder led the two of them into a cave. When Nong introduced it, this Nodong movement originally did not allow outer sect disciples to enter. Even inner sect disciples needed to accumulate enough points to be able to enter. However, two years ago, the sect master changed the rules so that outer sect disciples who had just entered the sect and inner sect disciples had the opportunity to come here and learn once. He emphasized that we must respect it. Both of them listened and followed the elder. As soon as he entered, Deep Duong was startled and surprised. What was going on? Both Deep Duong and Haimo Dao were pressured down, making their bodies heavy. The elder was a bit surprised. He quickly brandished a magic weapon. Then raise your hand to recite something. Deep Duong has now returned to normal. He thought to himself. That feeling is gone. Then he opened his mouth to ask, Warden, what was that just now? Suddenly there was a pressure so oppressive that he almost couldn't breathe. The elder stroked his beard and explained, Ahem, this no movement has a forbidden formation. Those who do not have permission to enter without permission will surely die. Hamong Dao also has a question. So teacher, what are we here for? The old man immediately replied, The outer sect disciples cannot directly teach the practice. This immeasurable cave is the place to help you comprehend. So how much you can comprehend depends on your blessings. Coming to a hole in space, the old man pointed and said, This is an incompatible wall. You guys go in quickly. Deep Duong raised his hand suspiciously and said, Are you coming in? Isn't that a wall? How to get in? The old man, too lazy to explain, directly approached and pushed the two of them in. He's talking too much, kid. Hamong Dao suddenly couldn't react. Deep Duong is also in a similar situation. As soon as he touched the hole in space, he was a little surprised. After pushing the two of them into the old man's breathing, it was over. Not long after, Deep Duong collapsed and lay on the ground. He sat up, his whole body wet and wondered, where is this? A wisp of smoke flew out from Deep Duong's body. A two appeared at this moment and replied, Master, this is probably someone else's death palace. Moreover, the owner of this purple talisman. Before he could finish speaking, Deep Duong fell straight into the water. His whole body sank inexplicably. The situation right now is extremely dangerous. After struggling for a while, he was able to rise to the surface. What caught Deep Duong's eyes was something that surprised him. In front of him was another person exactly like him, but his face was extremely scary. Deep Duong quickly asked, Who are you? The other person suddenly disappeared on the spot. He came closer, grabbed Deep Duong's neck and lifted it up, saying, You weakling, don't care who I am. From now on, I will replace you. Deep Duong's voice was weak, Please save me. A two immediately replied, Master, this is my demon heart. Only you can defeat him. I can't help you either. Hearing that, Deep Duong immediately felt sweaty. Tam Ma threw a powerful fist at Deep Duong's stomach. He constantly despised Deep Duong. He was truly a waste. Besides calling for help, what else could he do? Deep Duong was blown away and fell to his knees, coughing and coughing. This time the devil raised his leg and kicked. Deep Duong clenched his teeth. He pulled out his sword, determined to resist the kick of the demon mind. But the force was still pushed back strongly. At this moment, the demon heart pulled out a sword that looked exactly like Deep Duong and said mockingly, Being used by you like this is truly humiliating. After speaking on the magic sword, a small dragon appeared wrapped around it, looking extremely magical. The demon heart waved the sword and said, To open your eyes a bit, how to use the dragon spring sword. On this side, Deep Duong, no less competitive, also released the energy on the sword. The two people madly rushed at each other, 
creating flashes of extremely flashy light. Their attacks formed the shape of two dragons, fiercely baring their teeth and roaring towards the opponent. In the end, Deep Duong's dragon was defeated. Deep Duong was also startled. The demon heart said mockingly, You are too weak. Open your eyes to the true power of the dragon's spring sword. As he finished speaking, the devil swung his sword and rushed behind Deep Duong. Its eyes were extremely terrifying. It screamed loudly, it slashed. Deep Duong's face was full of worry. The demon heart shouted loudly, died. A black and purple dragon rushed towards Deep Duong. A boom sounded and Deep Duong was sent flying into the water. Deep Duong weakly sank into the lake. This time he was about to die. Deep Duong's whole body lay down. Deep Duong has not given up trying to use my strength, my needle, and my energy. At this moment, the devil above the heart snorted lightly trash. At this moment, there was a movement in the water that surprised me a bit. Deep Duong rushed up from the water and swung his sword. He performed the unified sword. The shock caused the demon's mind to be extremely surprised. How could this be strength and speed? Deep Duong launched a devastating attack towards the demon's heart causing a huge explosion. The demon mind was immediately dropped into the water. Deep Duong now took a step towards the demon's heart. Looks like you're the one who has to die. The demon's heart is in pain, vomiting blood coughing. Deep Duong continued to laugh loudly. But I have to thank you for helping me to use the mystery of Long Quan's sword better than before. The demon's heart weakly begged, don't kill me. Deep Duong firmly grasped the sword. He did not tolerate a sword that pierced the demon's heart. After a while, the evil mind begins to slowly dissipate. At this moment, only Deep Duong was left standing there. In another place, this is the main hall of the Flying Immortal Gate. In the main hall, there is a group of people gathered here, including Tamak, she spoke up, sect leader, it seems that the barrier of the other world has been opened. Looks like we have to act quickly. One of them is Tian Tin Fong. The Chu Min Win Master also spoke, the sect master. I see that Master Tamak is only making threatening noises. This monster has been trapped in another world for more than a thousand years. If the barrier were opened, the monster would have already rampaged. Tamak lightly snorted and said with an unhappy face, I'm not the only one who sees demonic beasts. If something happens in the future, I'm afraid neither me nor senior brother can handle it. The sect leader, after a moment of contemplation, spoke up and said, Junior Brother Su, I don't think Junior Brother Chu's words are unreasonable. We just need to go inform the other three major sects to be on the alert. Then, while speaking, there was suddenly a huge explosion that made the old sect master stop. Everyone looked together in the direction of the explosion. Tumak urgently said, This direction is the wind. Could it be that something has happened to the wall? Toward Deep Duong, he now went to a palace. He looked around, He, where is this? This palace is so majestic. Deep Duong gingerly entered the palace. Walking to a place, Deep Duong looked stupid and kept sweating. In front of him was a beauty leaning over, sleeping soundly. Seeing Deep Duong approaching, she suddenly woke up and looked towards him. The strange woman stood up and said with a happy face, Man, Deep Duong quickly covered his face with his hands and explained, I just came here by accident. Deep Duong gently spread his hands and glanced at him, continuing, I don't mean to offend. This woman did not bother to listen to the explanation and directly waved her hand and pushed Deep Duong down. Deep Duong was pressed to the ground and constantly struggled. He tried to use his energy to defend himself but couldn't so he silently cursed. Damn, why can't I use my energy like this? The pink-haired woman pressed Deep Duong down on the ground and caressed it, saying, This is my territory. Without my permission you will not be able to use your vitality. Her eyes were cold, and she gave up resistance. She pressed two grapefruits against Deep Duong's body and began to take off his shirt. Her voice was seductive. I've been waiting here alone for several thousand years. Finally someone comes in. You come in here to let me know. My deity is at my disposal. That woman was about to kiss Deep Duong. He quickly asked for help. He saved my life. Someone wanted to molest me. That woman is still continuing her work, scream. Even if you scream until your throat is broken, no one will come to save you. The woman was suddenly startled. When she saw Deep Duong, she unconsciously stood up and protested. His hand held the sword tightly. Then he swung his sword and slashed at the pink-haired woman. Deep Duong quickly moved into the distance. This woman seemed surprised to say, Parent body. Then she raised her thumb and lightly licked it with a smile. Ha ha ha. No wonder you can come in here. It seems this is God's will. The blow just now made Deep Duong gasp for air. Before she could calm down, the woman grabbed Deep Duong's shoulder. With a serious voice, she proposed a condition, boy, I will teach you a long-lost technique. After you go out, help me do something, how about it? Before he could agree, the woman raised her hand to Deep Duong's head and prepared to teach the practice. She gave a ghostly smile. After a while, Deep Duong absorbed the practice, and he lost his color. This is it. The first chaos of the universe was formed, 
the light and clear air that ascended was the sky, the air that was clear and condensed was the earth, the original celestial, everlasting, immortal and without leaves. Looking at the content of the practice, Deep Duong was extremely surprised. This is the original and eternal technique. Could it be that she is the original heavenly venerable? It turned out that this was the original heavenly venerable. She spoke up and admitted, That's right. That year my consciousness was divided into three parts by some guys in the fairy world, sealed in three different places. You just need to help me find those two divine consciousnesses. Hearing that condition, Deep Duong immediately asked for more information. Looking for those two divine consciousnesses? Where? The original heavenly venerable covered his mouth and smiled. I also didn't know. These words left Deep Duong speechless, she said again. But after you practice the primordial immortal technique, you will have your own instructions. Having finished speaking, the original heavenly venerable pressed Deep Duong to the ground and said, But kid, I've been locked up alone there for thousands of years. Today I'll help you ease your sadness. Deep Duong was embarrassed but didn't shy away. Azi observed in Deep Duong's purple talisman and cursed, shamelessly. The original heavenly venerable continued to flirt with Deep Duong. Are you criticizing your sister for not being beautiful? Or are you criticizing her for being old? Deep Duong quickly said no, it's just that this is his first time. No matter what happens, the original heavenly venerable would hug Deep Duong, if it weren't for that. Then today let my sister serve you, and then you probably know what they did. Change the scene to incompatibility, because the noise was coming from here, to mock and the group of people in the diocese came to investigate. As soon as we arrived, a disciple came forward to bow, the sect leader, the old man just gently nodded and replied, Yes. Chu Min came over and asked, What's going on? Tian Lin Fong's chief disciple Tan Hao. He clasped his hands and reported, Master, we were originally cultivating in the void of enlightenment. Suddenly, a wave of power appeared in the void, causing us to be forced out. We have never been like this before. The crowd was suddenly startled. At this moment, the hole in the wall made noise. Everyone present here was attentively observing that direction. From the opening, a trembling hand stuck out. At this moment, Deep Duong's whole body was crawling out of the hole in his untidy clothes. A few girls saw Deep Duong's blushing face and screamed shyly. A. Tamak was also somewhat surprised, she exclaimed, Deep Duong. Without delay Chu Min spoke up and ordered, Qin Hao, quickly arrest him. This kid doesn't know what tricks he's playing, if he doesn't get along the wall could crack. Deep Duong was immediately surrounded by them. A woman with pink hair and a face that looked exactly like a primitive immortal said that he was an outer sect disciple who had just participated in the trial. According to the sect's regulations, he had entered the inner wall to practice. The elder who led Deep Duong and also quickly replied, Yes, this is indeed an outer sect disciple participating in the trial. Even so, Chu Min still replied suspiciously, Is the outer sect disciple new? I think this might be a spy sent by the demons to destroy the treasures of our non-immortal sect. The wall has been in existence for thousands of years, and has never broken down. As soon as this kid arrived, something happened, and he was also the last person to leave. The sect leader continued, I think this matter should be investigated later. Right now the most important thing is to discuss with the room master to see if we can restore the barrier or not. Chu Min heard that and turned to tell his disciple, Qin Hao, these past few days you have brought a few junior brothers to watch over this new outer sect disciple, don't let him run away. Tan Hao immediately replied, Obey, Master. Deep Duong lay on the ground with a faceless expression, silently scolding him. Be quiet. As soon as he entered the Phi Tian gate, he was already under surveillance. The sect leader began to make arrangements. So in addition to the temple masters, everyone else please leave. The disciples clasped their hands together and said clearly. An elder approached and spoke to Deep Duong and lowered his dream knife. You two follow me. I will arrange accommodation for you. On the side of incompatibility. After a while of original fun, the Heavenly Venerable is now in a relaxed mood, hi hi, deep duong, cracks are appearing at this moment in the Wu Xiang wall, I'm afraid it will cause you a lot of trouble, this is considered a farewell gift from God I give you, old men of the heavenly world, wait until that brat crushes you to pieces, then when she's done, she'll leave here, in my small house, deep duong inside is cultivating energy, he held an exercise book in his hand, the first level of the primordial indestructible formula goes against the meridians, after reading this, Deep Duong was a bit surprised, do I need to do a handstand? This cultivation method seems to have been seen somewhere before. Deep Duong started to practice, he started to do a handstand position. The pill in Deep Duong's body began to gather. The strange posture made him extremely tired. A few hours later, while Deep Duong was doing his work, a bright halo radiated from his body. Feeling the breakthrough in cultivation, he was happy, having broken through to the middle stage of foundation. 
Although this method is much more tiring than regular cultivation, the speed of absorbing vitality is also many times faster. Deep Duong decided to stop practicing here. He was about to step out. Today is a beautiful day that makes Deep Duong feel extremely comfortable. Then he started walking around. After walking for a while, Deep Duong encountered a group of people in the air. Their eyes were not friendly. This is Qin Hao and his juniors approaching Deep Duong. His voice was full of disdain. Oh, isn't this the eldest disciple of Deep Duong from the outer sect? Deep Duong ignored it and continued to move forward. Two juniors immediately stood up to block his way. As they walked past, their shoulders touched the shoulders of the other two guys, with no intention of getting out of the way. Having run out of patience, Deep Duong spoke in a threatening voice. If you don't want to die, get away quickly. Qin Hao heard that and waved his hand jokingly. Mr. Deep's voice was too loud, but the master of Tian Lin Fong Fong has an order. You are not allowed to leave here for the past few days. Deep Duong didn't say much and immediately knocked away the man blocking his way. This action made the other guy panic. Qin Hao shouted angrily and arrested him. Hearing that, two juniors followed and rushed up to grab Deep Duong. Without needing to move his hands or feet, Deep Duong just gently releasing his force was enough to push those two shrimps away. Seeing this, Qin Hao began to be afraid. He was only in the middle stage of the foundation, but could he defeat them so easily? The two juniors still haven't given up. They took out their swords. Then he held his sword and dived towards Deep Duong. At this time, Deep Duong started to have a little fun. He took out his long twin sword. He waved his hand. The attack turned into a golden dragon rushing forward. The golden dragon is ferocious as if it wants to swallow the enemy. Tan Hoa's face turned pale with worry. It's not okay. In one fell swoop, the two juniors were captured by Deep Duong. The golden dragon began to tighten its grip on the other two guys. Deep Duong swung his sword to end a love affair. The other two had all their ribs broken. Then Deep Duong immediately threw them away. Seeing his two juniors being beaten, Qin Hao growled angrily. Yu Brat looked for his own death. He began to draw his sword. His whole body emitted extremely strong energy. Where he stood, the ground and rocks shattered, and the two juniors kept retreating in fear. Qin Hao executed a prison beheading. One slash cut the whole ground towards Deep Duong. Facing the attack, Deep Duong's face turned blue and worried. He was done. The pressure was too strong. With a loud bang, smoke and fire filled the sky. Fortunately, Tamak appeared to neutralize the other attack for Deep Duong. She questioned, Do you not know that civil war is forbidden in the non-immortal realm? Qin Hao replied without fear, Master, this Deep Duong was too exaggerated and injured two of our Tian Lin Fong disciples, so I want to teach him a bit. Deep Duong protested, You bastard, you obviously touched me first, how dare you blame me? Tamak didn't say anything, she just waved her hand. A beam of sword light passed Qin Hao's head, causing the tree behind him to break in half. Her voice was sharp. I don't care about the hatred between you guys. But if you let me see this again next time, I won't forgive you. Hearing that, Tan Hao had to retreat. He clasped his hands and replied clearly, clearly, master. The disciple knows it's wrong. Qin Hao looked at Deep Duong and gritted his teeth and said, Deep Duong, you are waiting. And Deep Duong has a stuffy nose. Then Tan Hao and his two juniors left. At this time, Tamak turned to tell Deep Duong, Yu Brad has just entered the sect and is already causing trouble like that. Deep Duong replied very decisively, What is causing trouble? You guys are full and free so you should focus on this. Find me causing trouble. After finishing the story, Tamak took a bottle of wine and approached Deep Duong. Okay, okay, kid, come have a drink with me. Deep Duong blushed and smiled and replied, Huh, I don't know how to drink. I don't know how much time has passed. By this time the sky was already dark. Deep Duong leaned against the wall, still holding the wine bottle. He held the bottle of wine and thoughtfully thought back to the scene just now. The scene where Tamak is lying drunk on the bed is inviting. If it's an admin, how can I stand it? He thought to himself, although this body is still a little worse than the original Heavenly Venerable, it has a different flavor, if only. Thinking of this, Deep Duong slapped himself in the face and calmed down, Deep Duong, I'm not that type of person. Then he fell into bed and fell asleep. The next day, seeing a knock on the door, Deep Duong woke up dimly. But the sight made him panic, his white legs like those of pearls clasping his head. The calls are still coming from outside, Mr. Deep, are you there? If you don't answer, I'll go inside. At this point, Deep Duong can no longer keep up. Lowering the knife, he opened the door and peered in. What caught her eye was Deep Duong being pinned tightly under her feet. How Mong Dao blushed and covered his eyes with his hands and shouted, Ah. She thought to herself, she didn't expect Mr. Deep to be such a liberal person. The light from the crack in the door penetrated into the wooden bowl and at this moment he woke up. Realizing something was wrong, she gave Deep Duong a kick. Deep Duong, 
How dare you play tricks on this old lady? Deep Duong said unhappily, this stinky woman. It was obvious that her leg was pressing on me, almost suffocating me. Tamak lightly snorted, let's go, goodbye. Next time I will find you again to drink. Ha Mong Dao then spoke up and asked, young master Deep, do you like someone younger or older? Deep Duong quickly said, adults have to choose everything. I like both, secretly thinking, could she be jealous? When Ha Mong Dao heard that, he blushed slightly. Then let's talk about the main issue. That's right, Mr. Deep. The martial arts arena at this time is the busiest time. The experts descended from the Phi Tien sect will all gather here. Let's go take a look, shall we? The scene changes to the Phi Tien Man martial arts arena. Deep Duong and Ha Mong Dao have also arrived. Above the stands are Qin Hao and his opponent. Qin Hao's opponent was sent flying with just one blow. Everyone present was also surprised. Qin Hao after defeating one guy turned down and said, Is there anyone else? No one can fight anymore. Below are two disciples discussing. This top disciple of Tian Lin Peak has not defeated him in a long time. Who would dare to challenge him? As if they were clearly offering their accumulated points. I gave it to him. That's right. Let's go quickly. If he catches us, we'll have to give him zero points. Deep Duong now approached the two of them, rubbed his head and asked, Brother, what are these accumulated points used for? One person turned around and replied, Have you just arrived? These accumulated points at Phi Tian Mon will be equivalent to that gold coin. Once you have accumulated points, you can do whatever you want. After saying that, the other two ran away. Qin Hao was now on the stage pointing at a guy and said, You, it's you, come to the ring to compete with me. The unlucky guy who was chosen raised his hand and surrendered. Brother Qin, how dare you be my opponent? Hearing that, Qin Hao looked unhappy and threatened. What's wrong? Are you going up or not? Tan Hao's two juniors gradually approached the unlucky guy. Deep Duong raised his hand and said loudly, Senior Brother Qin, how can you force others like that? How about letting me become your brother's opponent? Hearing that, everyone turned their eyes to Deep Duong. Qin Hao stared at Deep Duong as if he wanted to devour him. Seeing Deep Duong Hao's words, Mong Dao worriedly said, Deep Tsung, this person looks strong, is it okay? Deep Duong replied very confidently, It's okay to wait until I win and get the accumulated points then I'll let you have fun. Looking at Deep Duong looking strange, a guy turned to ask, Who is this? The guy next to him immediately replied, I don't know. Newcomer? No wonder I submitted my accumulated points myself. Few people know that Deep Duong is smiling proudly. This is the ATM for you. Seeing Deep Duong step onto the stage, Qin Hao applauded and said, Not bad, Deep Duong, you are very capable. But you have accumulated points. Dueling requirements must have accumulated points. So Deep Duong walked towards an elder and asked, I don't know how many accumulated points I can exchange for these two blood wolf internal pills. The crowd was extremely surprised by the item Deep Duong brought out. Blood wolf any eye pill? Although the blood pill is not a high level magical beast, the blood wolf is now an extremely rare item. The elder immediately gave the value. According to regulations, one blood wolf pill costs 250 cumulative points. Two pills will cost 500 points. Deep Duong heard that and immediately said, I would like to ask how many accumulated points senior brother Tan Hao has. The elder took out a notebook and looked at Qin Hao, saying that senior brother Qin Hao had a total of 1988 points. After redeeming the accumulated points, Deep Duong will return. He confidently walked up and smiled and said, Senior brother, I am Deep Duong, a new outer sect disciple. I am about two realms less than senior brother Tan, so I feel that the accumulated points for betting on competition matches should be proportional. One to three is reasonable. Hearing that, the people below nodded, that's right, the logic is the logic. But I'm afraid senior brother Tan will not agree. For the sake of his own dignity, Qin Hao accepted Deep Duong's conditions, very good Deep Duong, are you planning with me? But you won't be able to win, so I agree with your one to three ratio. After the decision was made, the judge announced that both sides had agreed, so the competition could begin. The crowd below kept screaming, oh, this match is good. As for Ha Mong Dao, he is always sincere with Deep Duong. Keep up the good work. The final match has begun. Qin Hao and Deep Duong both drew their swords to fight. Qin Hao sneered, Brat, I am a person, my actions are not heavy. If I make you disabled later, don't blame me. After speaking, he rushed towards Deep Duong like a predatory beast. Deep Duong calmly held his sword to block Tan Hao's attack. The two auras collided, causing a loud explosion. The crowd below felt the pressure and continuously exclaimed, The aura was too strong. At this time, Deep Duong was crushed under the ground and the rock caved in a bit. Qin Hao said contemptuously, Junior brother, you're about to not be able to stand it anymore, right? Then senior brother will give me a little more strength. After saying that, he focused all his strength to attack Deep Duong. 
Deep Duong's foot has now sunk a bit. Qin Hao happily laughed. Ha ha ha, relying on you. I dare to fight with me. As for Deep Duong, he remained silent, blocking the attack. The time has come for Deep Duong to begin counterattacking. He performed a mental vibration of frequency 250. A shock wave went straight to Qin Hao's head. Tan Hao immediately held his head and screamed in pain. Deep Duong's eyes turned cold. He strongly swung his sword and slashed at Qin Hao. Qin Hao even lost but didn't understand why. He was sent flying by a sword. Suddenly there was a loud scream. Deep Duong had won. This made the surrounding people extremely surprised. This outer sect disciple had just entered the sect and had already defeated the top disciple Tan Hao of Tian Lin Peak. What exactly did he do? Just now I saw that outer sect disciple being oppressed and about to be unable to bear it anymore. Ha Mong Dao happily raised his hand to congratulate. Deep Tsong Dao had won. Qin Hao struggled to say, Deep Duong, what demon technique did you use? Deep Duong bravely replied, So many people witnessed it. Senior brother, don't try to slander me. Could it be that senior brother doesn't want to admit defeat? The crowd below also seemed to have prejudices against them testifying together. Qin Hao angrily gritted his teeth and was speechless. You, you. Ha Mong Dao also came forward and took Deep Duong's hand and said, That's right, senior brother Tan Hao. We all saw it. You can't do anything wrong. Hearing that, Qin Hao's face turned black and he could only grit his teeth. One of Qin Hao's juniors came forward and whispered, Senior brother, we have seen Deep Duong's tricks very clearly. Moreover, hearing that, Qin Hao smiled and turned his attention to Ha Mong Dao, Deep Duong. This junior sister doesn't look bad. I didn't expect that your kid is also really lucky. After saying that, he was about to wave his hand to catch the dream knife. Before you could do anything, Deep Duong knocked you away and let go of your dirty hands. Qin Hao retracted his hand and smiled. Ha ha ha. Junior brother, don't be angry. Senior brother just cares about junior sister a little bit. Then he folded his arms and left. Deep Duong Tang Dao turned to Ha Mong Dao and said, Junior sister has no accumulated points. Then let senior brother take you out to have fun. At a place called Archives. Deep Duong and Ha Mong Dao went to this place together. Inside, a watchful elder was nodding. Entering Deep Duong, looking around, he exclaimed, This is the library room where you can use accumulated points to exchange for martial arts. Seeing someone entering, the elder opened his eyes and spoke, stopped. Who are you? Quickly tell me your name. Deep Duong clasped his hands and introduced, I am Deep Duong. This is my junior sister Mong Dao. The elder continued quickly stretching out his hand, putting the accumulated points into your vitality. Deep Duong raised his hand to put it on the table to begin calculating accumulated points. Full name Deep Duong, balance 1500. After calculating the calculation, the elder crossed his arms and said about the entrance fee to the library, Okay, minus the entrance fee of 100 points for one person, there are 1,300 points left. You can go inside, then depending on the technique you choose, you will minus the corresponding accumulated points. Hearing that, Deep Duong was startled and said, What, do you still have to pay an entrance fee? When Hamong Dao heard it, he awkwardly told Deep Duong, Senior brother, I don't want to go in there anymore. Deep Duong was extremely generous and took her hand, No. I said I would take you out to have fun, how could I go in alone? After completing the procedure, the two of them entered the library room together. Looking around surrounded by martial arts, Hamong Dao excitedly said, Wow, there are so many secret practices here. Deep Duong waved his hand and started looking for the practice. Junior sister, it's okay. We have nothing but conditions, just take your time and choose. Deep Duong found a book, he reached out and took it out. The technique is called Fire Metal Immortal Technique. The upper level technique is worth 2,000 points. Seeing the price of 2,000 Deep Duong points was quite shocking. Wow, a book of exercises is already 2,000 points. Let's see how effective this method is. He started to open it and take a look. Looking through all the exercises, I only see white paper, difficult to understand. Why is it so pure white? Flip to a page with a line of text, because this is an upper level practice, so you can't view it arbitrarily. Only after payment can you view it. Deep Duong scolded in bewilderment, confused, is this okay? He put away the exercise book and looked towards the lower dream, where was his junior sister? Deep Duong asked as he walked, junior sister, have you found the practice yet? Deep Duong's eyes became colorless. He exclaimed to his brother. At this time, Mong Dao was lying on the ground, cold air appeared around her. Deep Duong is extremely worried about Ha Mong Dao, junior sister, what's wrong with you? A two appeared to inform me, looking at the lady's condition now. Perhaps her extremely cold body is having an attack again. I was a bit surprised when I heard you say Deep Duong, huh? Extremely cold body? So what should I do? A two gave Deep Duong a suggestion. 
Master, quickly see if there is any related technique here that can cure this lady's extremely cold body. Deep Duong started looking through the library. Can the practice cure extreme coldness in the body? After a while, the books piled up into mountains. Deep Duong finally found a book. This book is called Hop Huan Gong. Practicing this practice can cure extreme cold in the body. Intermediate level practice. His eyes became determined, that was it. Deep Duong started to open the book to take a look and saw that there was a requirement. If you want to practice this method, you need to have a source of male yang energy nearby to transport the yang qi. When practicing this method, both men and women need to take off their clothes. Reading the words take off clothes, Deep Duong blushed. Ah, what strange conditions are these? Time was tight so Deep Duong decided, never mind, now was not the time to worry about so many things. He began to take off his clothes and began to treat her. Deep Duong used the technique to continuously remove cold air from Mong Dao's body. Half an hour later, Deep Duong was already tired. He thought to himself, he didn't expect this technique to be so strong. Practicing together could also help him upgrade to the late stage of foundation. The treatment process has been completed, causing extreme pain. She spit out an ice pill. Deep Duong quickly raised his hand to support her. At this time, the dream began to dimly awaken. Seeing Dream Dao wake up, Deep Duong happily said, Junior sister, how are you feeling? Mong Dao somewhat shyly replied, it's better. Senior brother, what is the exercise we practiced just now? This extremely cold body of mine has relapsed for many years. Father has also invited countless famous doctors but all have failed. Deep Duong immediately gave her the exercise book. When Mong Dao opened it and read it, he was shocked and delighted. She read the exercises while blushing at the contents inside. Unable to bear it, he raised his hands to cover himself and screamed. A moment later the two of them were dressed neatly and ready to leave. Deep Duong spoke up. We have only been able to practice the first level with this combination. If we want to cure this extremely cold body of yours, we must continue to practice it to the second and third levels. Mong Dao blushed and replied, Yes, I don't know which predecessor left this Hop Huan Kung Kung. I really want to thank the person who created this Kung Fu technique. Deep Duong replied, This technique costs 1001 accumulated points, plus an entrance fee, which is good enough. Mong Dao said emotionally, Thank you sir. I will definitely return it to you in the future. Then the two walked to the transaction counter. Seeing the two of you coming out, the elder smiled, hi hi. Why did you two stay in there for so long? Did you do something that other people shouldn't know about while you were away? Deep Duong came over and put the exercise book on the table. Don't say more, we want to buy this exercise book. Looking at the exercise book, the elder continued to laugh and say, hi hi, you kid really had a lot of fun in there. The scene changes to the back garden where Deep Duong lives. I saw someone coming up ahead. Deep Duong looked surprised, Deep Kuang. Deep Kuang saw Deep Duong and said happily, Senior brother Deep, long time no see. Deep Duong replied somewhat curiously, Young master Deep, long time no see. I don't know why he came to me. He thought to himself that suddenly becoming so polite, there must be some bad intention. Deep Kuang raised his voice and replied, Hi hi, senior brother really had the best of intentions. It's just that my younger sister Deep Tan Lan has passed out knowing that senior brother Deep had just successfully completed the test, so we wanted to congratulate each other, anyway. You were also a member of the Deep family. Deep Duong coldly replied, The young master is being polite. I am only a slave of the Deep family. How can I be worthy of being congratulated with the eldest lady? Hearing that, Deep Kuang changed his face unhappily. Deep Duong, you don't care about my sister like this, right? Deep Duong had to reluctantly agree, The young master had said too much. I agreed, right? He secretly thought in his heart, even though he didn't know what trick he was playing, with his current strength, he could face him. I still have enough strength to deal with this chlorophyll. Seeing that Deep Duong had agreed, Deep Kuang turned to Mong Dao and said this lady, this is our Deep family's matter, so it's not convenient to invite you to join us. Mong Dao was somewhat worried and said to Deep Duong, senior brother, I think there must be some plot in this matter, it would be better if we don't go anymore. Deep Duong replied very confidently, it's okay. I can deal with it, junior sister has just recovered, so go back and rest first, I will come to the hospital when I'm done. Successfully invited Deep Kuang to clasp his hands and leave, so, let's go. Mong Dao looked at Deep Duong's back. She was still worried in her heart, brother be careful. Suddenly, from behind, a guy came forward and knocked Mong Dao unconscious. Then he took her with him and left. On the other side, Deep Duong and Deep Kuang were flying through a forest. Deep Duong asked somewhat suspiciously, where is this? Isn't senior sister in the blue wind? Deep Kuang replied, Of course not. The rules of Fai Tian sect are very strict, so Tan Lan chose to hold a celebration party outside. 
At the edge of the deep Kuang forest, he stopped and said, I'm here. Deep Duong stopped, then landed on the ground. He asked where his sister was. From afar, two figures approached Deep Duong. I didn't expect that we would meet each other so quickly. The person who came was Jin Hao. Seeing this name, Deep Duong was somewhat surprised. Jin Hao walked over and said sarcastically, Deep Duong, you still think you are the son of some big family. But are you really just a servant? Deep Duong smiled in response. I thought it was someone, but it turned out to be the two generals defeated by me. Deep Kuang angrily cursed and cursed this dog's slave. Tan Hao raised his hand to stop Deep Kuang. Don't be in a hurry. Today, even if I grow wings, I won't be able to escape. After speaking, he sat down and activated the great formation that had been set up in advance, the Four Symbols Formation. A great formation appeared surrounding Deep Duong's body with lightning bolts. Deep Duong felt something. Suddenly he fell to his knees. What's going on? It's like the energy of the whole body is being sucked out, and the vital energy can't be transported. On the side, Jin Hao saw Deep Duong caught in the trap and smiled sinisterly. Don't try anymore. In my death statue array, even a great god can't use his vitality. Unless. A guy next to him raised a flame and said, Unless you use this blood red pill refined by the master. Jin Hao added, Even if you use blood red pill, you can only regulate blood and energy. In this four symbol formation, your power will also gradually decrease and now you can only be torn apart by me. Stop. Deep Duong thought to himself, knowing that this young master Deep Kuang was a brainless guy, but he didn't expect that someone else would take advantage of him to this point. Qin Hao spoke up and encouraged the general. Brother Deep it's time for revenge. Immediately the cold sword was thrown out by him. Deep Kuang immediately grabbed the sword. He held the sword in his hand and approached Deep Duong. You dog slave, this young master will destroy you today. After finishing speaking, Deep Kuang waved his hand and stabbed down, a stab to Deep Duong's arm. Deep Duong's pupils widened in pain. Even so, Deep Duong still calmly said, Young Master Deep, I didn't expect that one day you would be ordered around like this by someone else. Hearing that, Deep Kuang gritted his teeth in anger. He swings his sword and stabs at you. Shut up and I will kill you. But the blade was blocked by Qin Hao. Mr. Deep, don't rush to kill him. Slowly torment him. Qin Hao put his sword to Deep Duong's neck and asked, Deep Duong, did you learn the evil technique you used that day in Wu Xiang, bitch? Hand over that evil technique. Today I can spare you one time. Was threatened. But Deep Duong still calmly replied, Hi hi. If you already know the benefits of evil work, aren't you afraid that I will use it to kill you now? Qin Hao laughed out loud when he heard that. Ha ha ha. In the four general formation, unless you have a realm one level higher than the person who arranged the formation, and someone like you who is only in the bamboo realm realm, doesn't even have vital energy. Where can it condense? Deep Duong smiled coldly, is that so? He secretly told the two that in this formation, it is usually impossible to transport the original energy. You can use the primordial immortal art to go against the meridians and transport the original energy. As he immediately replied, Master, this method is not bad, you can try it. Deep Duong began to use the primordial immortality technique. At this time, Qin Hao jumped up and stabbed at Deep Duong. He was already dead but still had an old mouth. Qin Hao's eyes flashed coldly. But at this moment, Deep Duong suddenly raised his hand to block Qin Hao's sword, causing it to pierce through. This action shocked Qin Hao. But it was too late. Deep Duong had already stood up and strangled Qin Hao. He put strength into his legs. Then Deep Duong used force to throw Qin Hao away. At the same time, he pulled out the sword in his hand. Qin Hao stepped back, gritted his teeth in worry. He was lost. He originally intended to lure this guy into the formation so that he could no longer use his vitality but he ended up being controlled. Then he shouted loudly at Deep Kuang, quickly kill him. Deep Duong began to use his body techniques. In just a moment, Deep Duong rushed like an arrow and raised his sword towards Tan Hao. Feeling the danger, Tan Hao threatened, Deep Duong, you can't kill me, the knife you gave me is still in my hands. Even so, Deep Duong still swung his sword and stabbed Tan Hao in the arm. Qin Hao's face turned pale in pain. Deep Duong said with cold eyes, hmm, what are you trying to do? Qin Hao took out a cloth from his body. He said, look, this is what I took from the dream knife. Looking at that object, Deep Duong immediately realized that it belonged to Mong Dao. He angrily tightened his grip on the sword hilt, pressing hard on the hilt in his hand. His eyes became scary. He said every word, saying, where is she? Qin Hao still didn't answer. He continued to threaten, you let me go first, otherwise I will have someone kill her. Deep Duong raised his hand. Deep Kuang, who was in the distance, was immediately blown away. Then he exclaimed, then I will kill all of you. One human life in exchange for this many lives is not bad. Qin Hao's face was gray. He gritted his teeth, you, you. At this time, Deep Duong pulled out the sword in Tan Hao's hand. 
Deep Kwong approached in a conciliatory tone, Deep Duong, I know where you are. I will tell you, please forgive me. Jin Hao heard that and screamed, It's useless. I have sent people to guard there. If you appear, they will immediately kill her. Deep Duong couldn't keep calm and waved his hand and slammed Qin Hao on the ground. Deep Duong growled, It seems you don't know the current situation, and still dare to threaten me. After finishing speaking, he continued to squeeze his hand firmly. Qin Hao finally agreed and said I'll take you away. At this time, a two also spoke up to remind, Master, let them set up a magic formation, I'm afraid it won't be easy to deal with. Deep Duong replied lightly, It's okay, he's always afraid of my father's thoughts. Otherwise he wouldn't have spent so much effort to lure me to this formation. Scene transitioned to the next day. In a room, the heavenly spirit peak Lord Chu Min walked in. At this time, Qin Hao had been beaten until his whole body was bandaged. He turned around and said, Master, it was Deep Duong who seriously injured his disciple. Looking at his beaten disciple Chu Min's face darkened, he said, Isn't this the trashy outer sect disciple from last time? Do you dare to beat him like this? An outer sect disciple dares to hurt an inner sect disciple. No one quickly capture him for me. As soon as Chu Min finished speaking, two disciples rushed up and grabbed Deep Duong. Deep Duong struggled unconvinced, cursing. What nonsense, he attacked me first. Can an outer sect disciple arbitrarily bully an outer sect disciple? Chu Min roared in response, talking loudly, insulting others and still wanting to reason. Why don't you quickly detain him for me? The two disciples continued to try to control Deep Duong. Not being patient, Deep Duong released his vital energy and sent the other two flying. Chu Min was now officially angry. Kid, this is not a place where you can be reckless. He released a large amount of green energy and formed a huge hand that grabbed Deep Duong. The pressure was too great. Deep Duong was a bit worried. It wasn't good. The aura was too scary. At this moment, a ray of yellow spiritual energy flew. It directly destroys Xiao Ming's attack. Chu Min glanced at him and said to Fong Master, What are you doing? It turned out that this was to mock. She immediately replied, Master Chu Fong. Deep Duong is an outer sect disciple, not your disciple. I'm afraid I don't need your control. Chu Min's face darkened and he said, What is Master Tufong saying? This brat already loves my disciple, but I still have no right to control him. Tamak glanced at Qin Hao and said sarcastically, I'm afraid there are some people who like to cause trouble with others, and because they don't have enough strength, they end up getting beaten up. Chu Min grabbed the rope and tore it off, then shouted, if Master Tufong has decided to protect this evil man from a demon sect, don't blame me for being rude. Tumak was not weak at all and started to activate his vital energy. Two people shouted at the same time, ah. Then the two of them crashed into each other like two bolts of lightning. The two streams of power collided and shook the whole space. Deep Duong observed with some admiration. This is the power of late pregnancy. At this moment an old man appeared and separated the two of them. The old man spoke up and said, Aren't the two junior brothers making fun of their companions? Seeing this, Chu Min raised his hand to report, Sect Master, this brat dared to seriously injure many people of my Tian Lin Fong. I hope the Sect Master will take charge of me. Tamak also spoke up, Sect Master, yesterday I was on the road and saw the head disciple of Tian Lin Fong leading people to surround Deep Duong. This incident must have been caused by Qin Hao first. The sect leader continued to ask for information from Tan Lan. This matter was informed by you. What was the end result? Tan Lan glanced at Deep Duong. Then she said, When the sect leader appeared, he saw Deep Duong fighting with Tian Lin Fong's people, even though Tian Lin Fong's people at that time no longer had the strength to fight back. Deep Duong heard that. His face turned purple and he thought to himself, Damn it! I didn't expect that this evil sister would play a trick on me. Jin Hao happily heard that. Yes, if senior sister Deep hadn't come at the right time, Deep Duong would probably kill us all. Chu Min was so angry at his trash disciple that he shouted, Shut up! He was beaten by an outer sect disciple to the point where he no longer had the strength to fight back. But he still had the courage to speak out. Punish you to stay in your room for three months. To mock added sarcasm, Practitioners like us are inherently weak and strong. For a disciple who hasn't practiced enough, being punished for three months is not a bad thing. Chu Min bitterly frowned, stopped talking insinuatingly, Tamak smiled faintly, I'm fine. The sect leader spoke up again to stop them and stop arguing. Tamak and Chu Min were shouted at and said yes, sect master. After finishing his work, the old man turned to speak. As for Deep Duong, Deep Duong immediately replied, ah, I have a disciple. My sect always prohibits fighting between fellow sects. Perhaps you know this. If Tan Hao has been locked up for three months. The old man emphasized every word here. So what kind of punishment do you think you should receive? Feeling the pressure, Deep Duong thought to himself, is this the sect master? This suppression is not strong. If you want to lock me up in a furnace, it's impossible. 
Why not? After thinking about it, Deep Duong clasped his hands and said to the sect master, If I have injured Tan Hao and made Master Chu Fong dissatisfied, then letting the disciple bear a palm from Master Chu Fong will be considered a punishment. Hearing that, Chu Min glanced at him and said, Junior, do you know what you are saying? If I kill you, don't blame me. Qin Hao was extremely happy and whispered, Kill him. Deep Tan Lan, on the other hand, was also quite surprised. On the other hand, even if it were her, she couldn't withstand a single blow from Chu Fong Master. This Deep Duong was looking for her own death. Tumak saw that it was too wild and stopped him. Deep Duong, don't get excited. You are two realms below Chu Fong Master. Otherwise a murder will occur. Deep Duong stepped forward very confidently. Rest assured, I have my own plans. Chu Min is also ready to take action. Don't worry, kid. I won't use all my strength to avoid others from saying that I'm trying to bully you. Su Mok, unable to persuade him, turned around and said, Sect Master Deep Duong was suddenly agitated. I hope you will come forward and stop him. The sect master immediately replied, This brat said that he would receive a blow. I can't come out directly. I will help you make sure nothing happens to him. Hearing that, Tamak immediately thanked him. Deep Duong was ready to speak. Please instruct Chu Fong. Chu Min hummed lightly. He clenched his fist and thought to himself, How could I not use all my strength? My disciple was beaten like this. I must destroy you. Chu Min waved his hand and threw his fist at Deep Duong using eight poles. Deep Duong raised his hand to receive, silently asking for help. A Tu help me. A Tu behind the shield whined. You are really troublesome. Thanks to A Tu's help, Deep Duong is ready to receive a punch. A collision sound rang out. A jet of blood shot out. The house suddenly fell silent. At this time, the old sect leader laughed loudly. Ha ha ha. The posthumous child was so formidable. Tamak was also extremely surprised. Tan Lan was also amazed for a moment. Oh, how is that possible? Chu Min retracted his hand and snorted lightly. Kid, consider yourself lucky. As for Qin Hao, his eyes are A-shaped. His mouth is an O-shaped word. Master, master, he 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 again. Deep Duong said with a cool look at this time. It's really helped. Thank you Chu Fong master for your advice. Deep Duong was secretly happy. Fortunately if there was an Azzi, if this palm had relied on his own strength, he would not have been able to block it for a long time. But at this time, a Tu had not stopped bleeding. Cough cough. Deep Duong worriedly asked the two, why are you coughing up blood? A two immediately replied probably the last palm had exceeded the owner's tolerance level. That's why he was injured. Deep Duong immediately asked, A two what to do now, you won't disappear, will you? At this time, my son had gradually faded away. She said, no, I just entered a period of hibernation. I am a strand of my master's consciousness. When the owner is subjected to a strength beyond his or her endurance, the consciousness will also be injured and the hibernation period will probably be to restore strength. During this time, please take care of yourself. I look forward to seeing my master again. Deep Duong has some regrets. It's all because I relied on your strength. After finishing the matter, the sect leader continued, Okay, everyone is here, then I will also announce one thing. Interrogate, come in. From afar, a young man stepped forward. He was Xin Duong, the first true disciple of the non-immortal sect. The true disciple was interrogated and asked to pay his respects to the sect master and the peak masters. Deep Duong was somewhat surprised, a true disciple, like Deep Tan Lan. Seeing Deep Tan Lam Tam Duong approaching and smiling, Oh junior sister, long time no see, it seems your cultivation level has increased quite a bit. Deep Tan also happily responded, senior brother is too complimentary, I'm still far behind. Brother, Deep Duong whispered to himself, if we just met and complimented each other like this, there must be something shady going on. The sect leader continued to give the information. According to the report of Nan Twin Van Duong City, purple sunlight often appears recently. There must be something good. The major sects have sent people there. The demons have also captured them. Started taking action. Of course, this sect cannot let the treasure fall into the hands of the demons. So we have decided to send you to lead the team to Van Duong City. Hearing this, Tam Duong clasped his hands and agreed, obeying his master's orders. The sect leader continued this time the people going there will rely on ability, not quantity. Including Snow White of Nok Nu Fong, Tan Hao of Tian Lin Fong and finally the outer sect disciple Deep Duong. Hearing the announcement, the disciples outside were discussing. Deep Duong? On what basis did an outer sect disciple get to go with him? That's right, except for Deep Duong. The three of them are all excellent disciples of our Phi Immortal Sect. Chu Min also disagreed and said Sect Leader, I oppose this brat. Tamak responded, Chu Fong Master, are you the Sect Leader or is your senior brother the Sect Leader? Senior brother wanted Deep Duong to go. It must have been planned. 
Chu Min looked at the sect leader and said this kid is a spy sent by the demon race. You see, my disciple has been beaten until he is disabled. Taking him along with the others could be in danger at any time. Any. Deep Duong was slandered and pointed his finger in response. From now until now, you have always slandered me as a spy of the demon sect, I think the spy is you. Having been angered, Chu Min bitterly rushed towards Deep Duong. He shouted loudly, Boy, you are tired of living. Deep Duong once again sweated, facing this pressure. It was over. This old man had only said one or two sentences and was already angry. He thought to himself, he could only hold on. This time, the person who stopped and helped was the sect master. He raised his hand to neutralize Chu Min's attack, then shouted, Junior brother, stop quickly. Chu Min still hasn't given up. Today this guy must die. Otherwise there will be danger for the sect. I advise the sect master to get angry and release enormous pressure. Chu Min was startled. His vitality transformed. Senior brother, you have already broken through the realm of death. The sect leader continued to say, Junior brothers, we are all fellow students. The previous grudges should be treated as nine and become ten. If we can't do anything, Chu Min should wave our hands and go. The sect leader spoke up and gave instructions. One week later they will depart for Van Duong Tan. The scene changes to a forest of magical beasts. This place has an extremely poetic landscape. Deep Duong is now sitting on the top of the rock. This world moves according to the flow of the heavenly dharma, like water flowing to a lower place. But the original immortal determination relied on the method of reversing the heaven and earth to cultivate. After a while of practicing, Deep Duong suddenly woke up. He happily thought that he could see things in this world more clearly. Even without using his five senses, he could clearly feel everything within 10,000 miles. Deep Duong was excited when suddenly a loud roar came from far away. Look towards the bushes where there is a big movement. There were two huge black bears fighting over something. Deep Duong flew closer and secretly observed. Is the demonic beast a black bear? Killing fellow humans like that is definitely fighting over something precious, valuable. Go see. Deep Duong jumped quickly to a cliff. He decided to silently observe the situation. The two bears roared, their red eyes staring at each other. Two bears compete to slap each other. One for you, one for me. Deep Duong didn't understand what they were doing and thought to himself, fuck it. No wonder low-level ghosts often have low IQs. Are these two idiots playing house building or something? You hit me once, I hit you once? Deep Duong secretly laughed. Let me break your balance. He caught a stone. He waved his hand and threw it at the bear. The stone flew straight into the face of a bear. It roared angrily, then swung his claws and lunged at the remaining bear. Deep Duong looked at this happily and chuckled. As expected, just like a group of children playing to build a house, only one kid needs to hit one more time to actually fight. The stone bear used all his strength to hit the other bear straight into the rock. The unlucky bear was thrown into a large rock. It was full of injuries, but still tried to open his eyes to see what he was fighting for. There is a primrose plant here with two fruits on top. He was about to reach out and grab one of the fruits from the flower. But the remaining one is not easy for it to get, it roared loudly, then rushed up and bit the other's back. Deep Duong now also understood the reason why they fought each other. Could it be that these two bears were fighting because of that fruit? Deep Duong used his divine sense to examine that fruit. Let me see what secret this fruit actually hides. If you're still here then it's good. You definitely know what fruit this is, you two stupid bears, this fruit will be yours. After thinking about it, Deep Duong jumped like an arrow to catch this bright red fruit. Taking it into his hand, Deep Duong happily smiled. At this time, the two bears saw Deep Duong taking the fruit. They angrily stared at him and screamed. One of them raised its claws and rushed towards Deep Duong. Deep Duong was suddenly startled, but he still promptly dodged the black bear's attack. The ground was broken into a large hole before the black bear's attack. Deep Duong senses the danger. It's gone. This black bear demonic beast seems to be even more difficult to deal with than the blood wolf. The bear continued to roar. It puffed towards Deep Duong. Compared to the black bear, Deep Duong looked extremely small. Deep Duong was sweating and thought to himself, it seems like we can only act a little more cruelly. After finishing speaking, Deep Duong rushed up and threw a punch straight at the speaker. But the punch is no different from a mosquito biting stainless steel. The space suddenly became stupidly quiet. At this time, the bear was so angry that his eyes turned red. He roared and sent Deep Duong flying. Deep Duong worriedly thought, damn it, this bear's defense is so high, one punch won't do anything. The bear did not let him rest, it opened its mouth to bite. I've run out of options, it seems I can only use that trick. There is no way Deep Duong is forced to use the concept of vibration. A beam of light above the poplar's head shot straight towards the bear's head. The bear was hit directly and collapsed. The fluctuation of thoughts consumes too much. Deep Duong holds his head in exhaustion. Ah Tu is right, 
the thoughts of three do consume a lot of divine power. If you can't use it even once, it will have a huge impact on me. Moreover, I used it with maximum frequency just now, but it was still not enough to kill this bear, and then the remaining bear also began to regain consciousness. It bewilderedly turned around and looked up at the situation, seeing the bear staring at him, Deep Duong scolded. Fuck, the other bear is also awake. Then Deep Duong decided that 36 escape plans were the best option, so he huffed and took the spear and left. Anyway, I got it. Family went first. Deep Duong took out his sword, then jump on board. Deep Duong looked at the bear provocatively, saying you chased him. Did you really chase him? Then he took the fruit he picked and put it in his mouth to chew. The bear saw that and could only open its mouth and scream. Deep Duong rode his sword and flew away, raising his hand in greeting. The bear looked at Deep Duong angrily and could do nothing. Deep Duong, after a while of flying, he had now arrived at the cave. Looking around, he rubbed his face and thought to himself, why does this cliff feel like there's something strange about it? I can't even use the reverse cycle to explore it. It, his surroundings were covered in a bright red color. He stopped and touched his chest. What was this red aura? It felt like his heart was about to explode. Could it be because he had just eaten that blood red fruit? His whole body was in pain. His bones began to rise in waves. His feet were no longer stable. Deep Duong staggered and fell from the sword and fell into the abyss. He was gone. It seemed that something of unknown origin could not be eaten indiscriminately. At that time, right under the wall, there were two demon beasts, a man and a woman, sitting cross-legged in meditation. Feeling the aura of the blue-haired demon beast Deep Duong opened his mouth to speak, Junior sister, do you feel the breath of the humans that have fallen here? The remaining monster with pink hair replied, No way, brother, humans cannot get close to this dark cliff. Even if they could, they wouldn't be able to survive. Hearing that, the green-haired demon beast nodded. It's true, the dark aura of this dark cliff is difficult for even us monsters to endure, let alone humans. But he didn't know there was a human sitting in a corner absorbing medicinal properties. Deep Duong is currently using his strength to try to suppress that strange aura. This blood-colored aura is too overbearing. He can only move the retrograde pearl to protect the meridians, hoping to be useful. Deep Duong glared, this blood-colored aura was so overbearing, his whole body erupted with a tyrannical power. He poured all his breath into his palm, approached a large rock. Deep Duong swung his handle towards the rock. Immediately the huge rock exploded into small pieces. Deep Duong happily exclaimed, You're too strong. Looking up at Deep Duong's hand happily, from now on, I'll call you Red Fist. Deep Duong now groped his way to a cave, observing as he walked. I don't know where this is, there isn't even a light. After walking a few steps, he discovered something. Looking at the map, Deep Duong was surprised and thought, Hey, what is that map? Seeing it glowing, he caught it and thought about it. It was just the right time to use it to light the way, but he didn't know it had accidentally activated some prohibition. At the residence of two demon beasts, the green-haired monster continued to detect someone. He said in a panic, sure enough, someone has come in here, maybe he has discovered us. His junior sister was extremely surprised. It couldn't be, let alone the aura of just one person. If it was discovered, there would definitely not be just one person. The green-haired demon beast muttered, what should I do? This aura is getting closer and closer. Maybe let me kill him. His junior sister continues to block it. No, this barrier is about to open. I'm afraid I won't be able to stand it alone. By then the efforts of the past few months will have been in vain. The blue-haired guy continued. This person definitely didn't come here with good intentions, if only. That junior sister immediately came up with an idea. Let's go. Let's quickly turn into stone. Seal our breath. Maybe he will detect us. Finally, the green-haired demon beast agreed. That's all he had to do. They started chanting. After a while, the two people were successfully fossilized. Deep Duong now vaguely walked towards a cave. His whole body was sweating. The pressure was too strong. There was even more black energy here. Seeing a black lake inside, Deep Duong began to enter to investigate. I saw the lake continuously emitting black gas. Deep Duong suddenly exclaimed, It turned out the black gas was coming from here. There seemed to be something strange about that black lake. While trying to walk, Deep Duong tripped over a stone. He fell and hit his face on a statue. The whole face is facing straight. Deep Duong held his head and cried out. It hurt so much. Suddenly he was startled by discovery. Looked at the statue in front of him that was breathing out smoke. Deep Duong was startled and cried out that there was a ghost. After observing again, Deep Duong also calmed down, surprised. But why does this statue look so familiar? This is the demon beast that Deep Duong encountered during the trial. The demon beast also quickly recognized him. It was him. People in the forest of magical beasts. 
Deep Duong began to take off his pants to relieve his sadness, muttering, the evil spirit quickly disappeared. When he was a child, he once said that when he encountered bad luck, he could pee on it to dispel the evil spirit. That demon beast was angry and wanted to attack. Junior sister, I wanted to kill him, but his junior sister continued to stop him. Brother but, more important matter, after doing the big thing, Deep Duong shivered, he pulled his pants comfortably, it was so comfortable. Deep Duong then continued to visit the boat, seeing another statue, his eyes glowed. He didn't expect that there was such a beautiful stone statue here. Deep Duong opened his mouth and approached, hey, the person who carved this statue is definitely a person who loves beauty. Deep Duong waved his hand, preparing to touch the grapefruit to find its feel, when a loud shout rang out, stop his hand for me. The green-haired monster roared loudly, human, you want to die. His junior sister continued to stop him, but his senior brother couldn't. Deep Duong turned around and suddenly said, Damn, there's still another guy. He gritted his teeth and thought to himself, Two demon beasts appeared at the same time. Based on his current cultivation level, fighting them would only lead to death. The green-haired monster looked at Deep Duong and said, Human, this time you fall into my hands, don't try to escape. The pink-haired demon beast continues to block it, absolutely not. Right now, opening the barrier is the most important thing, don't ruin a big event because of a human. Then she turned and said to Deep Duong, Human, I practice here. I don't want to get into trouble with you. If you know what to do then leave here quickly. The green-haired monster still roared angrily. But just now he wanted to insult me. The other junior sister continued to tell Deep Duong. My senior brother's temper is not good. If he gets angry, your life will be difficult to save. Deep Duong heard that and quickly turned around and people accidentally came in here, causing trouble. The two of you have practiced, I'm leaving. As soon as he ran out, Deep Duong Kwa thought, these two demon beasts were probably not just simply cultivating. Last time, Master Su told me about monsters coming to the human world from another dimension. Could it be related to that black lake? Deep Duong decided to stay and explore. He took out a talisman in his hand and let me see what you guys were doing. Reversing the spell that hides the aura, this way they won't be able to detect it. Feeling the aura of Deep Duong, the pink-haired demon beast immediately said, that person had probably left and could no longer feel his aura. That senior brother is still very bitter, junior sister. After we open the barrier and the army kills people, I will definitely kill that brat for you. The junior sister blushed and softly reminded, Don't think about him anymore. Now is the important time to open the barrier. Don't be careless. Hearing that, Deep Duong thought, Indeed, that lake is the path between the other world and the human world. At this moment, the map on Deep Duong's body flew up again. Deep Duong wondered to himself, What's going on? The deputy devil suddenly appeared again. The pink-haired monster also discovered something strange. The blue-haired demon beast is no exception. Deep Duong then approached and raised his hand to say hello. The pink-haired demon beast asked suspiciously, Aren't you gone? I completely felt your breath just now. Deep Duong smiled lightly. Hi hi, we humans have many ways, of course there are secret methods that can hide our breath. The blue-haired demon beast angrily gathered energy into his hand, You cunning human, I warn you one last time. If you don't leave here I will kill you. Deep Duong calmly replied, If you could kill me, you would have done it a long time ago. Now we still don't know who killed who. In his heart, he thought to himself, Although these two demon beasts will not kill him for the time being, if their brothers do, he will not be able to avoid it. He must find another safer way. The blue-haired man gritted his teeth when he heard that. You you. As for his junior sister, he spoke at this time, That human, I have an idea. If you can help us open the barrier... Our army of demon beasts will rule over humanity in the future. I will definitely tell your superiors to give you a certain position. What do you think? Superior? Deep Duong laughed loudly. Only a devil would envy your superior. He said coldly, Even though I, Deep Duong, come from a poor background, I don't have to collude with you monsters. Whatever you want to do, do it yourself. Hearing that, the demon beast gasped, Yes, humans are second only to us monsters in the food chain. It's only a matter of time before demon beasts dominate humanity. Consider that you are a smart person who knows the times and is a talented person. Hearing that, Deep Duong stroked his chin thoughtfully. It seemed like this was not a bad idea. Looking around, he began to silently calculate. The barrier set up by a demon beast is probably similar to a human's barrier. As long as the eye formation is broken, the entire formation will disappear. After a while of observing Deep Duong, something appeared. Could it be the stone formation behind this? Seeing Deep Duong walking back to the stone formation... The pink-haired demon beast was worried, gone, could it be that that kid discovered something? Seeing that Deep Duong was still silent, the green-haired demon beast said, Human, my junior sister is talking to you. 
Deep Duong continues to delay the time. But I don't know if your senior brother will ever kill me after I help you open the barrier. The pink-haired monster replied, Ha ha, don't worry about this. With me here, it will definitely not happen. Deep Duong exclaimed, Why do I feel like he wants to kill me into a thousand pieces at any time? The other senior sister immediately explained, This senior brother of mine looks impatient, but in reality. Before she finished speaking, her eyes became surprised. Deep Duong now discovered something, he gathered strength in his hand. Then smiled and said, If I guess correctly, the stone behind this is the battle eye. The female demon screamed in fear and stopped. Deep Duong rushed up and threw a punch. The blue-haired demon beast turned around in fear. At this point it was too late. The stone formation was destroyed and a huge explosion rang out. Deep Duong chuckled. It was successful. Next you just need to run to the cave entrance. The blue-haired demon beast roared angrily. Damn human, this time you will die for sure. Get out of here quickly. The smoke and dust began to dissipate. Deep Duong shook himself and started to speed up. He ran all the way out of the cave. The blue-haired demon beast scolded angrily, wanting to run away. After finishing speaking, he quickly rushed after him. His speed was so fast that he caught up and blocked Deep Duong's path. The demon beast growled in his voice, killing humans. Deep Duong thought to himself. It seemed like he had underestimated their strength. At this time, there was suddenly a movement under the lake. It began to flow violently. The map sensed something and flew up again. Deep Duong was full of doubts. Why did he feel like this map was always luring him to jump into the lake? Deep Duong decided that no matter what, now everywhere is the road to death. Finally, Deep Duong decided to jump into the lake. Looking at the strange lake in front of him, he decided to take the risk. Moments later he disappeared behind the water. The green-haired demon beast seemed surprised. He didn't expect him to jump into the black pond. The female demon next to him also said, Even in this lake, even our demon beasts have a hard time resisting its annexation. If someone like him jumped down there, he would die very miserably. The green-haired demon beast was angry and angry. He couldn't kill him with his own hands. It would take several months to set up this formation from scratch. At this time, the Black Lagoon returns to its normal state. Below, Deep Duong was still safe and sound. He landed somewhere, surrounded by a black curtain. Looking around, he felt strange and wondered, Where is this? Deep Duong stood on a pile of slime that was constantly pulling him back. He silently scolded, Damn! What is this all about? Too sticky. Deep Duong remembered, this is right, I jumped down. At this moment, underneath Deep Duong's feet, that slimy mass was flowing out, wanting to engulf Deep Duong. Deep Duong tried to struggle, but it was over. If I continue like this, I will be devoured by this sticky thing. At this moment the magic map appeared. It is constantly devouring black air. Deep Duong escaped from control. He was surprised. That magic map was swallowing black air. Deep Duong was happy. This mud is floating away. Could it be because the black energy has been absorbed by the demon map? Suddenly the magic map glowed again. On the map appeared a strangely shaped character. Then it rushed straight into Deep Duong's eyebrows. A moment later, Deep Duong felt a happy change. The rune on this magic map still didn't penetrate my forehead like last time. I felt that my thoughts had become stronger again. Now something appears. In the distance, a large humanoid cockroach appeared. He said excitedly, This demon king has returned to the world again. Deep Duong suddenly exclaimed, A cockroach can talk. That cockroach was angry at being called that, Brat, you dare to call this demon king a cockroach? Just when he hasn't absorbed human essence in a long time, taking you as an appetizer. Having finished speaking, it rushed forward to attack Deep Duong. Its speed was too fast, and Deep Duong could not keep up with it at all. The cockroach sneaked behind Deep Duong and said softly, Come here human, give your essence to this demon king. Deep Duong suddenly screamed in pain. A bright red ray of light shot straight out from his forehead. The cockroach seemed to be afraid of that light, and immediately backed away. The black spring under his feet suddenly boiled. Each wave flew straight into Deep Duong's mouth. The cockroach looked worried. Damn it, the demon map's rune had already been transferred into this kid's body. Deep Duong also felt something. It seems that this cockroach is afraid of the power of the demon map. Could it be that he is the ancient beast in the demon map? The cockroach did not pay attention and excitedly pounced on Deep Duong killing him first, to avoid future danger. At this moment, suddenly a red light appeared. It flew straight into the cockroach's eyelids. It was as if a monk was chanting a spell, holding his head and rolling back and forth. Deep Duong was so happy, sure enough, this cockroach was extremely afraid of the power of the devil. After being hit, the cockroach has now shrunk into a normal cockroach. Deep Duong immediately picked it up. Oh, it became smaller again. The cockroach still spoke loudly, You kid is tired of living quickly release this demon king. Deep Duong is about to activate his third thought and threaten, 
Do you want one more time? The cockroach now said in fear, Don't, don't, don't. Deep Duong exclaimed, Just now you were so exaggerated, but at first you wanted to take my essence, and then you wanted to kill me? Why are you scared now? The fearsome cockroach demon clasped his hands and smiled, Hi, hi, hi. Little man was wrong. From now on you are my master. I will do whatever you say. Just don't use that power anymore. Thinking about a two Deep Duong makes me a little upset, and I don't know when a two will wake up. Deep Duong quickly regained his composure. He placed the cockroach demon on his shoulder and said, Okay, from now on I will call you Tiu Kuang. Then he continued, That's right, Tiu Kuang, where are we now? Tiu Kuang immediately replied, Master, this is a dark water area, an extremely dangerous place. It is said that there is a very strong black gas toxin. I'm also wondering why the master fell here unharmed. Deep Duong heard that and glanced, Hmm, aren't you okay? Tiu Kuang replied, I am an ancient divine beast. That black energy is still useful to me. Right now I am absorbing the black energy somewhere. This is to break the seal of the demon map. Seeing little Kuang boasting, Deep Duong pointed his finger mockingly, The ancient divine beast is a weak cockroach like you. Tiu Kuang stroked his head and smiled, Master, don't underestimate the ability of cockroaches to survive, and they already existed in this world several hundred years ago. At that time humans had not yet appeared. Deep Duong smiled faintly. Ha ha, with your current appearance, don't talk nonsense anymore. Quickly think of a way to get out. Tu Kuang gave a method, getting out is simple. Just swim down there and find Twin Nan and you can get out. Hearing that, Deep Duong said, let's start. He shook his body and jumped into the lake. Deep Duong gradually swam down and asked again, could it really be that simple to get out? Tu Kuang also replied, it's not very simple. Normal people will not be able to withstand the poison of this dark water. But Master is an exception. When he came to a small hole, Deep Duong stopped and said, Look down, is it Twin Nan? Tu Kuang spoke up to confirm. That's right. Let's go there quickly. Deep Duong and Chu Kuang walked towards the eye battle. The blue-haired demon beast outside was angrily saying that it was only a matter of hours before he could set up the formation and open the barrier of another world. And it was all because of that bastard. Looking at where Deep Duong jumped, he said that guy must have died down there. As soon as he finished speaking, Deep Duong jumped up from the lake. The female demon saw this and exclaimed in panic. Are you still not dead? Seeing the junior sister's broken voice, the demon turned around. Junior sister, what's wrong? Seeing Deep Duong standing there, he was also extremely surprised. You are not dead yet. He madly rushed towards Deep Duong. Human, surrender his life. Little Kuang on Deep Duong's shoulder said, Fuck you, master. Why did you just go out and there's already a monster trying to kill you? Deep Duong did not respond. He waved his hand and rushed forward. The terrifying force makes the demon beast surprised. After the punch collided, causing each side to move back a distance. The demon beast laughed cheerfully. Interesting. It seems you also have skills. Tu Kuang at this time appeared majestically and said loudly, Demon beast, saw this divine beast coming but did not quickly go away. That demon beast stepped on little strong with one foot. He said mockingly, where did this damn low-level cockroach come from? Seeing that Tu Kuang had just finished painting, Deep Duong stepped on his feet and scolded him. Fuck you, how can you say it's an ancient divine beast? Tu Kuang immediately explained, the master, wasn't he sealed in the demon map? His strength had not recovered for tens of thousands of years? Deep Duong began to think about how to deal with it. With human cultivation, it is at least half a level or more lower than the monster beast. Plus there is still a team nearby that has not yet taken action. Looking at the two demon beasts, Deep Duong decided that he had to find an opportunity to use his mind three. One move to take his life to have a chance of winning. Seeing Deep Duong lost his mind, the demon beast put his strength into his legs. He swung his fist and rushed towards Deep Duong. What was he thinking? Are you thinking about how to die? Deep Duong jumped up to avoid the monster's attack. The demon beast said with contemptuous eyes. What's wrong? All I can do is run. He continued to rush towards Deep Duong so that Deep Duong had no time to react, and then he reacted too quickly to keep up. Deep Duong was kicked in the stomach and spit out blood. Without being unfairly attacked, Deep Duong also grabbed the monster's arm. Seeing Deep Duong stop, the demon beast curled his mouth. You think clearly so you want to die a little sooner. Deep Duong now seized the opportunity, and immediately used his mind to attack the demon beast. The beam of light shot straight towards the demon beast's eyebrows. Being hit directly, the demon beast screamed in pain. His junior sister immediately came over to ask if his senior brother was okay. He tried to forcefully reply, it's okay. The green-haired demon beast continued, last time I noticed that he could attack mentally, and had prepared for it in advance. But the mental attack was too powerful, so he was injured. After speaking, 
he used his strength to continue fighting with Deep Duong. The little power on the outside secretly calculated that if the gap in strength between the two sides was too large, the damage of the third mind would also gradually decrease. After I recovered my strength, I wouldn't have to be afraid of this brat. Again, the demon beast gathered its strength and swung its fist to attack Deep Duong. After using the third concept due to too much damage, Deep Duong received a direct punch to the chin. After receiving this blow, he flew straight up. The demon beast continued to rush forward. In a moment he was behind Deep Duong, then unleashed heavy blows towards Deep Duong, causing him to fly straight to the ground. A loud explosion rang out. The female demon saw Deep Duong dead and felt a little confused. What's up? Seeing that guy killed made me feel a bit disappointed. The little man next to him also hesitated. How about helping him? He has something on him that will help me in the future. But now my strength has not recovered. If I rush forward I might give up my life. Seeing Deep Duong not moving at all, the green-haired demon beast, hesitating, hissing, is he dead, won't he fight anymore? Suddenly there was a noise behind the stone. Deep Duong slowly stood up. His whole body was filled with anger. Seeing that, the demon beast excitedly said, You're not dead yet, your life is really big. Deep Duong pulled the sword from the stone slab, then used all your strength to launch a blow. At this time, the demon beast's body was suddenly locked. He was helpless to bear Deep Duong's anger. He was gone. He couldn't control his body. Was it due to a mental attack at this time? I only saw Deep Duong quickly pass by him, and in an instant he collapsed on the spot. The female demon next to her worriedly shouted, Senior brother. Then she rushed over hugged the body and burst into tears, senior brother. While Deep Duong An was observing and thinking, sure enough, my father's mind has evolved and can control the opponent in just a few seconds. The female demon seemed to be mad at this moment. She stared at Deep Duong. Her body began to transform. In an instant, she turned into a huge demon beast full of murderous aura standing in front of Deep Duong. The succubus raised her large hand, then gave him a loud slap down on him. The smoke and dust dissipated and no sign of Duong Duong was seen. Luckily, he jumped back in time to avoid it. He felt a change in himself. After transforming, his strength also increased and his speed slowed down a lot. The demon girl took a deep breath at this time. Then she spit out a sea of fire that covered Deep Duong. He could only use his own spiritual energy to fight back. As for Chu Kuang, he has now returned to his original state. He carried the body of the demon beast that had been defeated by Deep Duong. He was secretly happy. Haha, <laughs> with the essence of this body he could probably regain one-tenth of his peak strength. Human, you just wait. Turning to see her brother's body being stolen, the female demon refused to attack Deep Duong. She rushed forward, waved her arms and screamed loudly, stopping. But without time, Ju Kuang ran away into that blue hole. Seeing that the female demon was absent-minded, this was a good opportunity. Deep Duong held his sword and prepared for a surprise attack. He used all his strength to swing his sword and stab the demon girl. The demon beast was still in a daze when a sword pierced her chest from behind. The female demon vomited blood and fell to her knees. Before he died, he kept crying, remembering his brother. In just a moment it collapsed in front of Deep Duong. Seeing that this demon girl was dead, Deep Duong glanced towards the blue lake. Looks like it will take a while for that cockroach to appear. He swung his sword and destroyed the cave. Then he left, thinking to himself, It seems like this lake is no longer dangerous for the time being. After going outside, a bolt of lightning appeared from the sky. It hit straight into the cave, destroying everything. This place now only Deep Duong knows. He let out a tired sigh. Unfortunately, it didn't last long, but this magic power was definitely not an ordinary magic power. At this moment, a sound came from far away and Deep Duong immediately turned his attention in that direction. He began to quickly move towards the place where the sound came from. There's a fight going on there, come and see. Arriving at Deep Duong, he stopped to one side to observe. At this time in the air, Deep Tan Lan was fighting with a demon cultivator. She began to perform her ultimate skills, reversing yin and yang, and turning purple lightning into swords. Around Deep Tan Lan, a series of sword-shaped purple lightning appeared to attack the demon cultivator. The demon monk sneered, something for children to play with. He raised his hand and prepared to throw a punch in response. He shouted to destroy me. A large hand pressed towards Deep Tan Lan. Deep Duong was watching with some worry. The monster was too strong. Should I go save her? Leave it, save it! Just in time to test the power of the new magical powers. Deep Tan Lan continued to attack. She gathered energy into her sword. The yellow arrow directly pierced the monk's palm. Seeing a bleeding wound on my hand, the demon cultivator spoke coldly, daring to hurt my hand. Dead, he continued to swing his hand towards Deep Tan Lan. Tan Lan panicked and couldn't react in time. 
but suddenly from the sky a stream of bright yellow lightning continuously poured down. It directly crushed the demon cultivator's attack. Deep Tom Lan, caught in the debris from the attack, let out a cry. A. At that moment, Deep Duong appeared with a fiery spirit. He was surrounded by yellow halos. Deep Tan Lan suddenly saw Deep Duong, looking at the bright golden lightning in the sky that was continuously bombarding the demon cultivator. He was extremely puzzled. World-destroying lightning. What kind of magical power is this that can produce world-destroying lightning? He told himself, leaving, he should still be careful and not be negligent. Then he rushed away. At this time, only Deep Duong and Deep Tan Lan remained. Deep Tan Lan was injured and a trail of blood appeared on the corner of her mouth. She gritted her teeth and thought to herself, she didn't expect that one day Deep Tan Lan would be saved by someone else. At this moment, Deep Duong's whole body began to exhale. Due to too much exhaustion, he collapsed in front of Deep Tan Lan. Deep Tan Lan came forward to support him. Deep Tan Lan took out a medicinal pill to treat Deep Duong's wound. She didn't expect that in just a few days, from my family servant to a disciple possessing magical powers, she really wanted to ask him what the secret was. Then she sat down to heal the wound next to him. I don't know how much time has passed. Deep Duong has now faintly woken up. He jumped up and stood up. Seeing Deep Duong wake up, Tan Lan immediately said you are awake. Deep Duong smiled wryly and said, Was that trash beaten by senior sister just now? Tan Lan turned around with a frown on her face. That was La Tzu, one of the ten major clans of the demon race. I was very lucky to be able to escape like this. Deep Duong continued to play dumb. Maybe some expert saved us. We are really lucky. Tan Lan now stood up. She replied, then I have to thank that noble person of yours. Deep Duong was sweating and thought inexplicably. Why couldn't I help myself and save her? This will expose my power. How should I explain the recently learned magical powers? Tan Lan also did not want to be questioned. She stood up and said, let's go. The demon Azura has appeared. We have to hurry back to report. About your magical powers, it's best not to tell anyone. The stronger it is, the more dangerous it is. Deep Duong also understood. It seemed like she wanted to hide it from me. You quickly chase after me. Don't leave me here alone. Tan Lan walked away and said, We shouldn't go back to fight Tian Ma now. I'm injured. There are people who won't let me live. Deep Duong also understands Tan Lan's reason for saying that. Too much talent is not a good thing. It's best to be careful. The two of them had not gone far when a shadow came. A bald man with a huge body rushed forward with a murderous weapon. Deep Tan Lan. Today you will die in my hands. My reputation will be famous throughout this very world. Because he was so surprised, Tan Lam was hit directly on his back. Deep Duong quickly chanted a spell to use magical powers. As soon as the bald man turned around, a bright yellow lightning bolt was rushing towards him. The bald head's entire body glowed with yellow lightning. At this moment, I only hear the sound of pain and screams. After being hit, his body was full of wounds, continuing a slash cut straight into his back. A large blood stain splattered out. Deep Duong expressed fear and covered his face. Ah, so terrible. Tan Lam saw Deep Duong like that and immediately said, The path to immortality is full of difficulties. You won't be able to go far if you're so compassionate. At this moment, she was so tired that she collapsed. Deep Duong quickly caught it, Sister, is it okay? Tan Lan immediately replied, No, it's okay, just a little exhausted. Deep Duong immediately said, Sister, let me carry you. Tan Lan was a bit shy but still responded. The two went to a cave. Tan Lan immediately began to heal his wound. A moment later, the aura on Tan Lan's body began to change. Deep Duong observed and said, Senior sister has already broken through to the state of pregnancy. Tan Lan finished breaking through and asked, What realm are you in? Deep Duong scratched his head and replied, The eighth heavenly dharma. Cannot compare to his senior sister. Tan Lan heard that and glanced at him. She thought, A month ago you were still an ordinary person. This training speed is really perverted. Then she stood up and said, Deep Duong, the sex mission this time is to defeat a strong person in the realm of breath, and will be qualified to become an inner sect disciple. I will report this matter to the top. Tomorrow you can go straight to the vanguard. After speaking, Deep Tan immediately left. Deep Duong looked at Tan Lan's back and thought to himself, My strength now includes my magical powers. Tu Din Trung Tian is not my opponent. In my Din realm I also have some fighting power. I don't know when I will catch up. Sister here. The scene changes to the inner courtyard of Fai Tian Man. The elder said with a cheerful face, I heard that this time you defeated an Azura Tai Breath Realm? Is this true? Deep Duong immediately explained, True. But at that time Azura was fighting with senior sister Deep. I was just lucky. Because he wasn't paying attention so I was able to defeat him. Even though Deep Duong said that, the elder still clapped his hand on his shoulder and smiled and said, Very good. 
If you defeat Azura Tai, you have already proven your strength. He gave a token and continued speaking. Then he took out a token and gave it to Deep Duong. Congratulations, you have now become an inner disciple. This is your identity card. The welfare and aura of the intersect disciples will soon be brought to your residence. Deep Duong immediately clasped his hands in thanks. Thank you so much elder then I will take my leave. Going to the new place, Deep Duong saw a luxurious and shiny room. His eyes glowed, is this his room? He immediately went in to take a look and saw a sparkling chest on the table. Deep Duong immediately walked to the chest with an expectant look on his face. Little baby, I'm coming. As soon as he opened the chest, a bright golden light poured out. Instinctively, Deep Duong immediately covered his face with his hands. After the light disappeared, Deep Duong's eyes were extremely shocked. He raised his hand and picked up an exercise book. Chai Duong Tu Fu. Isn't this the practice written by the master of my non-immortal sect, specifically used to cultivate and activate the Purple Palace? I happily accepted. This is so good. The Purple Palace is floating around in nothingness. But in fact it always exists deep inside my brain. If you want to activate the Purple Palace, you must have powerful spiritual power. You must be able to control the spiritual power. Otherwise it cannot be activated. Okay. After reading the method, Deep Duong immediately sat down to practice. Spiritual energy began to flood into his body. Over a period of time, the Deep Duong Palace has gradually improved. At this time, the sky was dark. Time passed quietly. Arrived two days later at Deep Duong's residence. The incoming sunlight signals a brilliant dawn. Outside there are two disciples talking loudly. This junior brother Deep is really desperate. He just returned and has been cultivating for two days straight. So he is not an intersect disciple. And we are just just an outer sect disciple. In the room, Deep Duong remained motionless. There were drops of sweat on his body, but he was still very persistent to open the palace. Deep Duong still has to overcome a layer of cover to successfully open the purple palace. He frowned and thought, this defense is so tough. I don't believe it. Deep Duong creates a big sword. He shouted loudly, breaking it for me. Finally, Deep Duong successfully disappeared, revealing a tower. Light flashed from the birch room. The static caused the entire water surface outside the lake to tremble. Deep Duong sat in the room looking somewhat tired, but could not hide his joy. We succeeded. He clawed his way to think about the Purple Palace, and finally activated the Purple Palace, which was a nine-story stupa, and the Nine Stars Purple Palace. A little introduction, the palace is also divided into high and low levels, in which one star stupa is the lowest level, nine stars is the highest level. The nine-star purple palace in the immortal Tao world is extremely rare. In history, the people who were able to own the nine stars purple palace were all rare talents. As long as they did not lose power, they would eventually spread throughout the immortal world. Deep Duong was investigating the purple palace and discovered that the purple palace itself had magical powers. Deep Duong's purple palace can create a circle that has a controlling effect. Deep Duong picked up delicious magical powers and smiled happily. Thuang Tang Min Noyet can control anyone's power. Although it is not yet offensive, it is absolutely top-level magical power with control properties. He also found it difficult to believe this. He was clearly just an ordinary person. How could he have a nine-star purple palace? Then he came up with the idea that this was due to the original immortal secret that he cultivated. Thinking about this, Deep suddenly blushed and breathed heavily. Then don't I also have hope of becoming a fairy? When that time comes, I will make Hamong Dao, Deep Tan Lan laugh. Hi hi. He quickly calmed down. What am I thinking? That's right. I heard that the Purple Palace can store items. Let's see how much the Purple Palace can store. He started to go in and take a look and saw that this place was an extremely large space. It was already too big. Not long after, Deep Duong went to the place to receive the mission. He looked around. This place was so bustling. I conveniently picked up a notice HM. This mission has tens of thousands of merit points. After reading, Deep Duong slammed his hand on the table and said, I want to accept this mission. The manager replied lightly, yes. He took out a piece of paper and forced himself to say, are you sure? This mission is extremely dangerous. In the past, there were many people who wanted to accept this mission, but no one has ever returned. Even though Deep Duong heard that, he was still extremely confident. Thank you senior brother for your concern, but I still want to accept it. The manager immediately signed and assigned this task to Deep Duong. He sighed, sigh, another new mat. This mission is extremely dangerous. I'm afraid I can only go and not return. Deep Duong has the demeanor of a young teenager, starting to go on duty. He went to a small village. After a while of chasing, he discovered that there was a smell of blood here. Without delay, Deep Duong quickly moved towards the place where the smell of blood was coming from. A horrifying scene took place in front of him. 
The village was filled with smoke. Corpses were everywhere. I'm a little upset. It seems I'm late. Then he went to check on some of the bodies. There are tooth marks on the necks of these bodies. Deep Duong was shocked. Could it be that it was done by a blood demon? While struggling, Deep Duong discovered something. He looked towards a hill and saw a guy sitting absorbing the blood of the villagers. It seemed that the tragedy in the mountain village was caused by him. He quickly jumped behind the rock and hid. He thought to himself, because he wanted to practice evil deeds, he killed so many people like that. The demon cultivator who was cultivating suddenly stopped, looked towards the source of the noise and said, who was there? After that, he waved his hand and threw a blow at Deep Duong. The rock where Deep Duong hid was immediately crushed. Deep Duong quickly jumped back to avoid it. The demon cultivator condensed the blood ball and said in a cold voice, How dare you disturb my cultivation? Deep Duong was startled, having been discovered. The demon cultivator unleashed blood and magical energy, condensing blood energy into hands to attack Deep Duong. On this side, Deep Duong also used the divine power of hell and heaven to create bright yellow lightning in response. The two moves collided causing a huge explosion. Deep Duong was pushed back by the aftershock. It was so dangerous, he almost got hit. The smoke and dust from the explosion gradually faded. The demon cultivator continued to swing his fist and rush forward. You have angered me. Stand in front of this sudden attack. Deep Duong raised his hand to block the attack from the demon monk. Still unable to do anything to Deep Duong, the demon monk stepped back. He strangely pulled out a sword from his chest and said, Who are you? After that, the demon cultivator repeatedly slashed at Deep Duong, but he dodged them all. I kept fighting but couldn't hit the demon cultivator, gritting his teeth and cursing, damn it. Deep Duong sarcastically said, A dying person doesn't need to know who I am. Having finished speaking, Deep Duong gathered strength in his legs. He swung his legs to create a pose. A powerful kick hit the demon cultivator straight in the stomach. Before stopping, Deep Duong raised his hand to recite the spell, and the sea ascended to Min Noyet. The demon cultivator was controlled by a circle. He said in confusion, What kind of move was that, making me unable to move? Deep Duong now had a fiery aura on his body as he approached. The demon cultivator was somewhat scared. His murderous aura was too strong. Thunderstorms began to appear in the sky. Deep Duong shouted loudly and attacked the demon cultivator. Feeling the pressure of death approaching, the demon cultivator was frightened and gone. Hell, a powerful stream of yellow lightning fell from the sky onto the demon cultivator's body. With the naked eye, you can see how strong the lightning is. By the time the lightning dissipated, the demon monk had gone to sell salt. Deep Duong came over to check the loot. It was indeed magic practice. Although the cultivation base is high, it still cannot exert its full power. On the pile of loot, there was a map that caught his attention. Deep Duong approached and picked it up. Opening the map, Deep Duong also had a clue but the mountain bandit's main palace was too far from here. Then Deep Duong set off to the ancient citadel. He stood on a tree branch observing. In his heart, he silently lamented that there were guards everywhere. Above the city wall, there were several guards laughing and chatting happily. Deep Duong continued to try to sneak in. There were too many people, what should I do? While not knowing what to do, above Deep Duong, a group of people rushed towards him. One of them shouted loudly, Where is the leader? Come out here and die. Hearing that shout, a big, muscular guy rushed out angrily, wanting to cause chaos in my area. You guys are tired of living. Seeing the two guys fighting each other, Deep Duong happily watched the show. It seemed like another sect had come to the bandit's lair. This way it would be easier to play. The bandit leader ordered brothers come up. Then the two sides rushed to each other and exchanged swords. Taking advantage of the chaos, Deep Duong took advantage of the situation to sneak in. After successfully infiltrating, Deep Duong hid behind a door, thinking to himself, he had to find a bandit outfit, otherwise he would be exposed. A guard inside noticed something was wrong. Why did I get such a cold feeling down my spine? Before he could react, Deep Duong suddenly attacked him from behind. After stealing the clothes, Deep Duong immediately disguised himself as a mountain bandit. He silently exclaimed, it also suits him very well. While he was happy, a guy passing by saw him, he said with a frown, quickly go to the rescue, he sweat dropped and agreed, okay. But that was not his mission. He entered a sparkling palace. His eyes immediately lit up. This was the main palace. It seemed the treasure was here. He hid to the side again, waiting for an opportunity. This time we must reap something. A beam of blue light shot straight into the palace from somewhere, creating an explosion of smoke and dust that filled the sky. From where the light fell, there was a shadow of a person. He grimaced angrily. He dared to hit me again. You guys are tired of living. Then he rushed out. On the one hand, Deep Duong saw that the opportunity had come. A good opportunity. He quickly went inside. But unexpectedly, as soon as he stepped forward, a punch came straight to his face. 
Deep Duong quickly dodged the somewhat unexpected attack. I didn't expect there to be someone inside. That's a bald guy he shouted, dare to cause trouble here. Deep Duong's eyes turned cold. He clasped his hands and performed magical powers, causing the sea to ascend to the bright moon. The bald man's movements were locked by a circle. Deep Duong gathered force straight into his hand, then threw it in front of the bald guy. Without the strength to resist, this guy took a punch and flew away. Even though he took that entire punch, it seemed like this guy didn't have any problems at all. Deep Duong was somewhat surprised. His physical strength was too strong, but his will was too weak. He had to be dealt with quickly before he woke up. One hand swings the sword, the other chants spells. This time he must finish him off. Deep Duong controlled the lightning into the sword energy. A beam of sword energy and lightning was shot out, piercing straight into the skinhead's chest. Without stopping, Deep Duong continued to put his strength into the sword, then took the sword and stabbed straight through the other guy's body. The bald man just woke up and asked in bewilderment, What happened just now, you? What have we done? Looking at the sword piercing his chest in horror, when did this sword appear? Before he could get an answer, he unconsciously fell to the floor and officially went to sell salt. Once everything was done, Deep Duong happily prepared to pack his things, there was probably no one else left. Deep Duong had not been satisfied for long when a series of streaks of green light rushed in. He turned around and saw that the group of people attacking the bandits had already flown in. Isn't it over so quickly? Seeing Deep Duong, one of them asked, Who are you? Deep Duong smiled and replied, You guys have already arrived so quickly? Hearing Deep Duong say that, that guy seemed surprised, junior brother. Without delay, Deep Duong immediately found a reason to leave, that's it. My senior brother still has something to do, I'll go first. The other guy quickly shouted to stop, stop. I have never met a disciple like you. But he was stopped by another guy and left. The treasure was more important. Outside at a waterfall. Deep Duong had now changed his clothes. He was a bit disappointed. Damn it. He couldn't find anything. Then he decided that he should leave this hellish place first. Half an hour later, Deep Duong still hasn't found a way out. It's gone, we've lost our way. He scratched his head. What to do? What should I do? While looking for a way out. Deep Duong noticed something and stopped. Put the piano on the bandit outfit. This is the outfit I just changed into. Am I still walking in a circle? Deep Duong speculated. It seems I have fallen into the maze. He sighed, having to quickly think of a way to get out. Deep Duong was trying to find a way when a loud laugh rang out. Ha ha ha. Hearing that, he grimaced and huffed. A rather attractive looking young woman appeared and said she didn't expect to meet an idiot here. Seeing her, Deep Duong immediately clasped his hands together to ask for help. Miss, I want to ask, how did I get out of here? Hearing that, the woman looked unhappy and said, H.M.? You rotten boy, as soon as you see me, you want to run away. Deep Duong smiled and explained, I didn't mean that. It's just that I still have work to do. The woman then said seductively, What's wrong? Going on a date? Is she as beautiful as others? Or go on a date with me? Deep Duong immediately expressed a sarcastic attitude. I don't think hitting her is necessarily worse than her. Hearing that, the lady looked unhappy and asked in a cold voice, Who? I don't believe there is someone more beautiful than me in the fairy path. Being asked that, Deep Duong thought uneasily. Just because he wanted to get out of here, he spoke casually, What should he do now? Finally, he looked regretful and said again, I just watched it again. I think this lady is the most beautiful. The woman glanced at Deep Duong and snorted softly, You rotten boy, these words don't sound very sincere. Tell me quickly. Otherwise, you will be locked here for the rest of your life. If you have a clue to get out of here, Deep Duong immediately said you have a way to get out. The girl immediately replied, Hum. I am a famous and famous person. How could I deceive your rotten brat? Are you right? Deep Duong spoke up at this time and said I have to say it clearly first. She is just my senior sister. Name is Deep Tan Lam. Mong Chien heard that and immediately said the true disciple of Phi Immortal Sec Deep Tan Lan. I don't know how many of us demon disciples were driven crazy by her. Deep Duong was a bit surprised when he heard the words demonic path. Us demonic path? You are the witch. Mong Chien chuckled. Is it possible that the immortal path also has men who are crazy about me? Deep Duong immediately began to think of a way to deal with it. I'm sorry, isn't this a famous beauty in the demon world? But unfortunately she has an exaggerating personality and likes to use insects. Is someone no one dares to come close to? After thinking about it, he started bragging. Yes, her reputation is heard from far and near where we are. Mong Chien heard that and said, Yes, do me a favor and I will immediately release you. Deep Duong immediately replied, Tell me, what's the problem? Dream just keep walking, follow me. The two went to a grass field. Deep Duong and Mong Chien walked through a field. Go to a small dreamy house and just stop there. Deep Duong was confused and asked, Strangely, 
Why couldn't he see clearly the way he got here? Mong Qian lazily replied, No need to look. This is the deepest area of the formation. You can't see it. Then she opened the door and said to Deep Duong, Come in. Deep Duong was somewhat wary but still agreed, not caring anymore, thinking first and thinking later, just stepped inside. There was a cloud of smoke surrounding him. The smoke had just cleared, revealing a barrier covering all four corners. Deep Duong was trapped and said with a serious face, You murdered me. Mong Qian smiled, Deep Duong, if you knew I was a witch, why did you still follow me here? You are suppressed on this altar, so I can leave this place. Deep Duong, you really did me a big favor. At this time, purple halos appear around the saddle. To repay you, I will go to Fai Tian Man to bring Deep Tan Lan here to be your friend. Ha ha. After saying that, the dream simply disappeared. Deep Duong gritted his teeth when he was deceived, so hateful, he didn't expect to be deceived by that brat.